Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we deliver on that promise. Yay. We have three exclusive games mm. tonight, two 7800 games and one yep. 2600 Yay. game. <laughs> Yay! We have Keystone Coppers. Coppers, okay. Uh, renamed from Keystone Capers. Yeah. Uh, for the 7800 from Muddy Vision Excellent. Studios. Yay, Just Muddy, Muddy Vision. Yep. Um, and ARTI, Archaeological mm. Rescue Team International. Uh, uh, oh, the Keystone Coppers is the exclusive final update. So it's the nice. final version. Of final it. version. Yep. Okay. And RT is, uh, we have an exclusive update to it, a huge update. Nice. Lots of new levels. I, I remember I remember playing that game. And yes. it, it kind of, we hit the end. I we did hit the end yeah. there. So we're going to see a whole bunch Excellent. of new levels for that. Hey, everybody in the chat. Yep. Uh, and we also have Gorf Arcade, a huge update for that. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, work in progress full version update the demo was released in the forums and this is the full version of it so you get the full experience Yay, here you get to see excellent. it so you'll be able to download that you right now and you play <laughs> along with us uh and the other two i believe will be updated tomorrow ish okay um because uh muddy funster is not in this time zone <laughs> he's in a different time zone so he'll be updating it later Oh, Johnny WC is here as well. Excellent. So we've got all the devs here, nice. which is awesome. Uh, and uh, Dyer51 says, just stopping by to say hi to everyone. You may or may not know me from the Atari Age forums. And, I say I'm, and to say I'm really looking forward to all three of these. Excellent. And so are we. So are We're really we. looking forward to playing them. Yep. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling mm -hmm. gently down the side. See how fast I can say these. <clears throat> <laughs> 8 bit Swami Allen, the Fur Arkham, A Charms Car Coder, Atari, 1974, Atari HR, Atari's Maximus, BR Polka, Buck Owens, Burl Lives, Cat Zeros, Chelsea Donna Mao, Chelsea Donna Mao, Charles and Jack, Charles Whelan, Cyrano, Cyrano Boot, Dan, if you see Daryl, 1970, Dr. Mook has Fox, Mother, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger, Rapper, Johnny, WC, Carl G, Kenny Jennings, Invader, Crocker, 2600, Lauren TDZ, Mark Johannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Nike Soul, Like Me to Hell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Packer, VG, Carl Hogg, Ars, and Schwitz, RC70, Render, Ghost, Pentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Grod, Cathler, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Spice, Rare, Esmeralds, The D-Train, The Walls, Cartridge, Welshman, Tiki Dan, KTM, Events, Trek, MD, X, Ken X, as fast as ever. Pretty fast. Pretty good. Uh, if Pretty you, good. If you want to get your name on this list, you can hit subscribe like mm -hmm. uh, Nathan Strum did before the show and Charles Wheeland and Dr. Moo Cows. Excellent. Thank you so Yay, much for resubscribing. Very. <clears throat> uh, um, uh, oh, we have a poll question tonight. Let's go to the poll question. Actually, let's go to the thing that prompted the poll question. Uh, oh, it's looking at the wrong monitor. Let's switch that over to the right display so that you guys can see it. There we go. Um, I like how the chat is uh, trolling Johnny WC because he says he's going to go watch the fun finale oh, for Stranger Things with his kids. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. And to then him. Uh, Gato. He already told me not to say anything to him. Gato so. Zerma says uh, they all die. <laughs> uh, everyone. <laughs> everyone. Everyone dies. A half hour in. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. the last two yeah, hours are. Yeah, the two are. hours. I don't know. It's just kind of blank screen. <laughs> I feel like the end of Sopranos. It just goes just black. And it's really weird. But watch to the end. Because there's credits. Oh, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this was posted uh, today in the forums. Anyone have the binary of Alien Exterminator by Nintendo? Yeah. Slash Joe 6502. The link seems to be dead. Mm -hmm. And this is off the 2021 list of released games. And mm -hmm. they're trying to download it and play it. But it's gone. Mm -hmm. um, the developer has deleted this, the page for it. It's on... Um, Oh, uh, it's on itch.io. A lot of people, a lot of developers use itch.io to, to release host games. their games. Yeah, yeah. Um, they've not only do sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a not problem only problem with what uh, coaster drinking problem. Uh, it's a drinking problem. It's not only <laughs> deleted the pay the the game the binary, mm. but deleted the page for the game. Mm. So you can't go to the page. You can't download the, download the binary hmm. anywhere anywhere. So um, the question that I have for the poll mm. is, um, what is the ethical thing to do mm -hmm. when a developer removes their game from the internet? Now this person deliberately removed their game. It's not bit rot. 
as far as no, I know. No, no. Could be very broad. But let's let's say they they yeah. deleted because their page is still up. Like their main page is okay. still there. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they they deleted it uh, on purpose. Uh, number one, post a binary for those who didn't get a copy. Mm. Uh, number two, yeah. do nothing one way or the other. Yeah, just let it be. Just like let it be. Yeah. Number three, remove it from public binary collections. Now I got to explain that because people may not know what that means. There are people who collect up all the games, homebrew or otherwise, okay. put it together in packages, and then post those packages every once in a while. And these are games that the developer has publicly posted. They okay. are available, and this is just a handy way to get them all at once. You don't have to go through forums for days, literally probably weeks yeah. and months to get all these games. I have a question about that, but I'll yeah. let you get to the end. <laughs> uh, uh, number four, remove it from your own hard drive. <laughs> Now, I know you're both talking... one and four are very extreme. <sighs> I know you're talking about the ethical thing. Yeah, ethical. But why would you remove it from a public binary collection? And like, it's different if someone is asking you to do that. If the developer says, "Please remove it." Well, but why would you, of your own volition, remove it from the public binary? Um, it's a possibility that they didn't get permission to put it into that collection and redistribute it. I see. That is kind of a... Like the nice thing to do? Well, it's, I don't know about a nice know. thing or anything, but yeah. it's, it's kind of an unspoken thing. It's like, well, can you redistribute this? Do you have permission to redistribute this? Yeah. Do you have the license sometimes yeah. to redistribute this? Under their maybe Creative Commons or whatever they've licensed yeah. it under. I have a follow Trevor. I'm, I'm not saying Trevor, but uh, Trevor is a person who does that for the 7800 yes. games. Yes, yes, yes. Super handy. I download them every time. Yeah. I don't know if he gets explicit permission, but everybody knows him in the forum. And I'm sure everybody's super cool about them putting uh, him putting those games. Yeah. I, so, I'm going to say two. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a very... It's I have a somewhat related <clears throat> kind of situation yeah. that kind of relates to this. It's not related to games, but we recently lost one of the few video games, video game, movie <laughs> rental places yes, we did. that was left in our neighborhood. Or even uh, Vancouver. In Vancouver, because we were in East Vancouver and there was a place on Commercial Drive called Black Dog video had been there for years and in the last say 20 years as all the kind of as people stopped renting movies i i get the sense they've kind of collected movies over over that time oh, and yeah. they were one of the few places where you could find movies that weren't on streaming Right, they were on that DVD, weren't in libraries VHS. that you couldn't buy anymore, yeah. like really old movies or really unique movies or movies that hadn't been released again. And they, in the last couple of months, closed their doors, mm -hmm. like like a real holdout for, for <clears> movie <throat> rentals. So now if you want a movie that you can't find digitally anywhere, you know, this kind of falls to the ethics is it ethical to then pirate that film? Because you really well, can't find it that's, anywhere else. That's the next argument that you could make. Um, and that really does talk know. a lot about um, digital distribution now. Yeah. And video games as well. Video digital games is the same thing. Because um, companies do go you know, bankrupt or just close up shop yeah. or just decide, eh, I'm, we're not we're supporting not, it anymore. The the money that's coming in is not worth hosting that yeah. game or whatever they decide to do. Yeah. And there are people who archive those games because that happens. Yeah. And that's even more difficult like than what you're saying about movies yeah. because people own licenses like on, still. Like to them. consoles, you can't just or rights to them. Like yeah. your console dies, it's it's over. You, that game is gone for you forever. Yeah. Um and Red Letter Media talked about that briefly in their last post. Yeah last video post um about brain candy is not available streaming oh really you have to buy it really on on, on disc or or vhs 
Um, they said it's on YouTube, but that's not legally distributed. Yeah. Right. That's the same as what we're talking about yeah, is archiving yeah. it on YouTube. If you can't even find. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's it, interesting. Anyway, that's. Yeah. That's, I think that's it the looks question. majority. A lot of people are saying two. Don't yes. do anything, which I understand. Because six percent. Yeah. Unless you know the wishes of the developer, it, 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 it feels unethical yeah. to do things like either release the binary. Oh, yeah. Or take it off of a public archive too like you yep. you would almost want to know the wishes of the person who developed the game before you did anything so nathan strum said i'd never be able to find the copy i had on my own computer so number four is an yeah. option he <laughs> yeah. just loses the binary yeah i have mine very organized yeah. incredibly organized yeah um Hi. yes like the pro pack that trevor de, trevor does yeah. for the 78 but interesting and and a similar issue to anything that's digitized now yep yeah yeah um so we've got some mail here. Let's see what it is. It's from Strictly Limited Games. Ooh, more video games because we need more video games around here. Always. <laughs> don't. They're not quite to the ceiling. Yeah. Yet. Um, so well. You, well. <laughs> about half a foot. Actually, some of them are touching the ceiling over there. So. Those, those are the, the those are those the, are the game boxes. systems on top of something. So yeah. Okay. So yes, okay. they are hitting the ceiling. So. <laughs> Maybe there is a, oh, uh, hello. a limit a to this. Cat. Hi, Sprite. Sprite's, Sprite's here, ready, eager yes. for his treats. Oh, are come. you ready for your treats? So They're this is a game here. called The Super Life of Pixel. Mm. Oh, Very cute. Yes. And it comes with a postcard and the game. And this Very really nice. caught my eye. Sprite is getting big. He he's, is. He's got a long tail. He too. grows fast. These little kitties, they grow fast. Um, and the, why this caught my eye, this game... And this guy? Um, my guy. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Is this, is the gameplay for it, uh, right here. And that's not the only gameplay for it. It's like, oh, that's an Atari game. Right? It has a really, <laughs> no, this really retro feel. Couldn't be made in an Atari, but very close. If they go over to the green border, True. Um, you could... Could you do it? In no. Theory. I don't know. There's a lot of colors there's, going there's on there. There's some problems there. But it's but, it's supposed to look like an Atari game. Yeah. But if you go through it, there's another level to the game. Another level to the uh, game. So really pulling off old styles. Another level. Nice. Another level. Like, it's it's you are a pixel. Yeah. Going through all the different Retro genres, styles and genres. Different computer systems. And I thought, that's oh, that's super neat. cute. Yeah, and it's a platform. I like platformers. Um, even Game Boy. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> like, okay, I have to have this. Yeah. And it got a good review, too. So. Yeah. As long as the gameplay is fun. Then. Yeah. So yeah. I, I thought I had to. Yeah, pick, very pick cool that idea. I love, I love people's creativity. I've, I have seen other games yeah. like that. I have a PC Engine game that mm. takes from different genres and different not different genres but different games mm. and i thought that was really cool and i got that that, that game from the developer actually oh yeah remember i bought a whole bunch of game systems from this guy yeah. in richmond or something yeah and i got the um PC Engine Super Graphics, okay. Super Graphics Effects, RGB modded. Like a, I got a ton of stuff from this guy, mm -hmm. um, but he was a developer, so mm. um, I got the, I got that game, and he gave it to me. It was super super nice of him. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next bit of news: um, the new Atari Analog 5200 controllers are now available. Um, this was updated just the other day. Uh, July 13th, 2022 mm -hmm. project update as I have as to this date purchased materials to build 17 Atari 5200 controllers as well as a second 3D printer in order to churn out the parts fa at a faster pace. So, etc, etc. Um, uh, they will cost $75 on eBay uh, to purchase before tax, shipping and platform fees. Um, that's the initial controller batch. Uh, there's some parts. There's a joystick. Um, I think he, I, I did talk about this the other day. Oh, Crossbow was buying one. Um, and they are the exact size of 
uh, an original 5200 controller, so they can go into the, the like the case, the beer holder, oh, the <laughs> into beer the case, holder. into the case, yes, yeah. into the top. Um, so the same exact form factor. The okay. buttons are bigger on the side, and he's moved the three start, pause, etc. buttons okay. uh, somewhere else. But the overall form factor is the same. So if you're mm. looking for a 5200 controller, a brand new one. Um, I don't know if there are any left of the 17. I think it's pretty close to the edge right now because it's been two days. Mm. And 5200 collectors are like always looking for another controller. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so if you want to get in on that, uh, it looks like they're going to sell out. So any, mm -hmm. and I think he said that if they do sell out, he'll look into making more, making, making another batch, making or anything. A, maybe a bigger batch, or yeah. he should he should keep a list, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, game updates for some Harmony and Harmony Encore cards. Mm -hmm. um, this is a little bit old news, but it's an evolving thing uh, that's happening. So somebody asked, hi, uh, Franco72 said, hi, the new games, the new games do not work on my Harmony Encore SD card, mm -hmm. Mappy, Galagon, uh, Draconian, because they had to send me some fixed games. What could be the problem? Harmony Encore, I purchased in 2022 SD PAL version. Mm -hmm. um, Batari, and this is back in May, uh, the chips used in Harmony cards come in three different silicon revisions. Until last year, I hadn't used any chips from one particular silicon revision, oh, no. as the others I got from various suppliers were always the other two. Mm. When I started using the chips from one silicon revision late last year, it was discovered that some of them had an issue with some of the current CDFJ games and mm. at least one DPC Plus game that I know of. Fortunately, some investigation revealed a way to fix the games to work on all silicon revisions. Okay. So that's the good news. There is a fix for a all fix for of it. these games. Excellent. Um, so, if you scroll through this, the first one he posted a fix for was Space Rocks. Um, and keep in mind, this affects a very small percentage mm. of the people who have a Harmony or Harmony Encore cart. It's just during the times where chip supplies were short, and it isn't all the chips no. that were put into the Harmony cart. But you may see in your own Harmony cart the same issues, I guess, if you if you Possibly. bought during that time. In yeah. the last two years. Gotcha. And if you scroll down the list, um, there's a fix for Draconian. Um, there's a fix for Stay Frosty 2 today. Mm. And Robot War 2684. Oh, that's PAL. Stay okay. Frosty 2, and Robot War 2684 demo final as okay. well today. Good. Um, and also, Mappy and Wizard of War were asked about in the thread. Yeah. So I reached out to John Champeau today to give more information. And he said the incompatibility percentage has been very low. Oh, that's good. And if there is one, uh, we have hot fixes for all the games. Excellent. So he's he's ready. Yeah. And, and lastly, we're in the process of updating all our demo and full ROMs to, uh, to have this fix. And it should be done in the next week or so. Nice. So all the demos on the Champ Games website and also the full versions that he sells through the website mm. will be updated very shortly. Um, if you buy them on cartridge, this has nothing to do with mm. the, the games on cartridge. No, this no, no, no. only it's has to do with the Harmony card. With, with the Harmony card yeah. and an incompatibility with some of the some programming of the yeah. and the chips. Okay. Not a big deal. And if you do find yourself not being able to run something on the Harmony card, that's what look this to forum this, is for, right? Look, yeah. look to the forum or yeah. Talk to Champ Games mm -hmm. and they will get you sorted Very out. Very nice. Good. Um, okay, video. This was posted today. This is video of my, specifically my Lynx uh, oh, uh, um, console being worked on. Actually, not worked on, but demonstrated. Mm -hmm. um, it's VGA output. Ooh, oh. exciting. So let's just get to, let's scrub forward. Okay, so you can see it down there. Nice. Uh, he's loaded up Packland, I believe, the links. And now he's going to cycle through the um, options of the new screen. Um, so it has interlace mode and then VGA output. Ooh. 
Um, so this video was posted today on Exciting. Twitter by Igor of Atari Gaming saying, Atari Lynx with VGA output using Benven IPS kit external controller is next. So this is literally my <laughs> Lynx um, system being worked on right there because you can see the two connectors on the bottom. He has not uh, done that before. Um, I believe this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> you Pretty hope sure it's it yours. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to be highly cool. modded and consoleized. Nice. Yeah, so it looks very good. So we'll be able to play some Lynx Homebrew. That's exciting. In the upcoming Yeah, look uh, at that. Future. That looks great. Very clean output. Yeah. Very clean output. Yeah. Um, so next week, we are going to be starting mm -hmm. to do... Oh, come on. Go full screen. Um, the Atari 2645 Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown is what I've called it. Uh, where we play every single classic Atari 2600 game I'm released from 1977 to 1992. Whew, it's, be a lot of games. Which, it's a lot of games. <laughs> it's like 450 <laughs> games, something like that. Yep. Um, so everything that was released on cartridge. Yes, on cartridge. On cartridge. Okay. And um, even PAL exclusives as well. So we'll probably mm. be starting on Monday um, next week. We'll see how that goes. But uh, Monday is what I'm shooting for. Mm. Um, the, John I, is leaving, but he, he... Oh, bye, John. Yeah. Enjoy. He might join back later, so Enjoy bye, Stranger Things <laughs> yeah. Season 4 finale. Yeah. He'll be back in two and a half hours. <laughs> approximately two and a half hours yeah exactly we'll probably be done yeah but, um, <laughs> so we'll be starting on monday um and starting with 1977 1978 and 1979 okay uh which is about 35 games oh, god <laughs> okay is that right 35 yeah Ooh. i think we can do it we can do i think it. so it'll be We're just over it, two right? hours we're gonna have the bell go off Yes. And the cats little, will go crazy every well, five minutes? it's a different bell than, okay, the, than the bell that we use for the cats. <laughs> yeah. But, um, oh, the poor yeah. cats. <laughs> We're giving each game five minutes because there's hundreds of games yeah. and we have to get through them. Yeah. Some we won't be able to play properly, so you'll just have to forgive us. But yeah. Most of them are just joystick games, straightforward. Yeah. Especially the early ones. Yeah. Some, some paddle games. Um, some driving uh, games. Um, so that's the end of the news. Time to get to the exclusive games. Um, first up, we're going to be playing a 7800 game. Yeah. It is Keystone Coppers. Mm. Uh, this was first posted November 6th, 2021. This build is from July 14th, 2022. I'm excited. It is on the mm. 7800. Mm. So let me switch over everything. Oh, no. Let's not press weird buttons when I'm not Me, supposed you? to. Me, <laughs> you? Have to go cassette. Oh, I don't have. Uh, we're going to have to use emulator. Are we? Uh, oh, no. Not no. emulator. Um, we'll use it off of the uh, Harmony for the supercharger because I do not have a supercharger, Star, Star Path supercharger. Oh, for the supercharger. Otherwise, that would be kind of cool. It would be a little slow. By the time it loads up, It'd be time to go to the next game. Well, it depends I don't know how long if you're, if you're how counting. How long does it take to load a, a supercharger game, yeah. by the way? Even E.T. Even e yeah, yes. even E.T. So that'll be later on in 83? Yeah. Are we going to play 82? them on the carts if we have them or no? I, I, we probably can. because For it, some of them, at least. Because it's not like a huge stack of games. Yeah. It's going to be a fair amount of games. I just like the idea of having, having cooler, the system in front of us yeah. and just like, you know... Shutting it off, ripping it out, putting it in. Like, I just love yeah. that sound. I, I think Who's we should Who's going to be cleaning them? Cleaning them. I'll have to clean them the oh, day geez. before. Yeah, we will. We yeah, will have to make the sure they're functional. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. So this build is Here's from yesterday. Um, it is Keystone Coppers it's been renamed to. It is a port of Keystone Capers mm. by Activision, mm. and it was never released on the 7800, but now it is time to remedy that. Mm -hmm. uh, fix. Fix that up. Let me just get everything ready here so that we can get right into it. There we go. 
Uh, load it up on the dragonfly. Yeah, if 10 to 15 seconds isn't too bad. That's pretty. That's really quick. Because I remember on this Commodore 64, it's like, oh my god, it takes a very long time to load up. Okay. Are you ready? Mm. Kitoko is saying the logo is... Sorry. I didn't know uh, it was coming. No. <laughs> okay. Logos covered up with something? No, no, no. I think the camera could use a shift, a slight oh. tap to the right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all. You have it. We used it. Pokey detected and used. <laughs> logo. RC70. That oh, was. Oh, the like, 7800. Is yeah. I think it just, it. You, it could just, everything's a little misaligned there. There you go. Ah, yes, it is. A little it bit over. Be That's better. Video is on delay, so it's a little weird. <laughs> Excellent. Huh. Okay, that's very liney. So I'm going to fix that. Oh. oh. If is I can. <laughs> Does it even show on the stream? Maybe not, but we can see the lineus. You don't have your save key plugged in, Muddy Funster says. Oh, yeah, I put it on the 2600. Let's, let's fix that. And I'll swap it back over. Mm. Just remind me to swap it back over. I did fix the lines, though. RC70 says Ooh. that was like Atari on order on level. <laughs> dun dun dun. Yeah. There we go. Pokey detected and used, save key detected and used. That's Excellent. even better. Well, the lines are back. I think I need a better S video cable. Or just less cables in general. <laughs> <laughs> Running behind. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, let's go for it. Nice new music there. Ragtime style. Mm -hmm. At, uh, have you played your Atari today? Yeah, very good. Have you very played good. Atari very today? Very good. Okay, a muddy vision. Muddy vision reproduction. Okay, press button. And if you can click on the screen, uh, there's a Facebook and it leads you right to, no, you can't click on the screen. Uh, so release candidate for a demo, 2022. Oh, very nice. Top cops, high scores. Let's see if we can beat any of those. Uh, 7800 adaption by Lewis Hill, 7800 music by Bobby Clark, uh, Synth Papalooza. Um, so let's, I think the instructions are the same, but let's just go to it quickly go through it. We won't read them. Uh, people can read those on their own because we read them last time. But yep. super cute. Yeah, look at that. I think they might be a little different. I think we know the rules of this game. We do. I mean, we do. Yep. Don't hit the things. Yeah, I think this is a little different. I love that. Super cute. Get it. You can also score points by picking up money bags. Yay, money! Give me the money. The Entertainer. Love that song. There you go. Ah, uh, credits acknowledgements. Keystone Coppers is inspired by the Atari 2600 8-bit game by Gary Kitchen, with graphics inspired by the C64 version by Antonio Savona and ST86. 7800 conversion, 7800 code graphics and sound effects, Lewis Hill. Uh, Pokey Ragtime Specials, Bobby Clark. Music support, Matt Smith. Additional artwork, Bethany Hill. Muddy Vision Reproduction, 21 and 22. Okay. And All right. new title at the top, Keystone Coppers. So you have t a choice of two music modes, off. or off as well. Yeah. He, has, nice. he has added. Yeah, if you get if you get annoyed with it after a while, <laughs> the entertainer is wonderful. But I can kind of get that. Stop it. Thank you. Okay, go for it. Launch it. Oh, you missed two pages. You did. I did. Go back Why to did the I instructions. Miss two pages? Did you press the button? Ah, sorry, that was unintentional. Two, five, six. Oh! Oh! Okay, ha, you did ha, press ha. it. Bug catchers. There we go. Robert Tuchito, Tucito, Tuchito. Uh, Jesse Hardesty. Who the hell's that? Stephen <laughs> Ramirez. Who is that? Special <laughs> thanks. Zero page homebrew. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mike Sarna and Albert Yaruso. Wonderful. Tea and sandwich boss. Mrs. H. Nice. A muddy version. Okay. Next page. Don't press the button. Sorry. I thought that was the end when I saw that there. 
nope, don't be chewing on HDMI cables. Coming soon for Muddy Vision, uh, Elite Xeno Operations. EXO. Ooh, Can't EXO. wait for the update for that. Five worlds, over 100 screens, five bosses, Pokey supported, Atari Box and Save Key supported. Use the QR code to get the demo. Uh, available now, Danger Zone, which is released. Uh, PvP, Aerial Combat, hundreds of uh, battle. Ver I'm going to try that. That's a really, really small QR code. Wow. Herdesti, by the way. Yes. Jesse Herdesti. Yes. That's how you pronounce his Did last I name. Did I not pronounce it? I don't know. I, I, I don't recall. But uh, Come on. Jesse is in the chat, so. <laughs> Those don't work. Herdesti. Fake QR codes. It's trying. I don't think they work. Are they supposed to work? They should. Esther Mary's. Who are these people? Uh, okay, let's get to it. Okay. Start with music mode. They work. Oh, maybe it's my my uh, software then. They work for me. Uh, useless software. Okay, let's check out what's happening. So he says, so as far as I'm concerned, unless we find some previously undiscovered issue that causes code Armageddon, this will be pretty much the release version, uh, with but with the demo restrictions removed. This means Keystone Coppers is officially done as of now. Nice. Uh, cosmetically, this version is close to the. It's going down. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is terrible. Just wait there. I know he's at the top there. You may catch him. I'm I, I I'm hopeful. Uh, you will. Uh. Yeah, you will, because there's another floor. That's right. Um, cosmetically, this version is, cl is close to the previous build you played, but there are cosmetic tweaks, and most of the changes are under the hood. Oh, you got it. Um, in no particular order, uh, versus the last demo. Actually, my last name is pr pronounced Hardesty. That's what I said. Did I say Hardesty? I don't know. I didn't know. say Hardesty, did I? I mean, can, mm. The original last name was spelled as Hard... Hardest? Hardest E. Oh, I said Hardesty. 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 Nope, can't collect that. <laughs> Whoops. Jump over those radios. Uh, that you can't collect. That's what I got confused the, with. The it. radios it's been are the a little only, while since I played. The only thing you can't... Oh, it's on the edge of a stair. Uh, are the only things you can't... That are stationary that you can't collect. Um, the... Ha what are you done? He's chewing on cords. Is he? He's kind of playing with it. I would be careful. Nope. He is chewing on it. That's very hey, bad. Cat. He's uh, learning bad habits. Get in it. Get in it. Get in it. Oof, close. They have you play a Atari today theme is adjusted and is a ragtime version to match the game tunes. Now I have to watch that cat. Oh, come on. <laughs> I hit the ball just as I crossed the screen oh. at, right at the end of the screen. Uh, the title screen is reworked to reflect the updated name, Keystone Coppers. Uh, Keystone Coppers is couch compliant now. So everything is doable from the joystick. Excellent. Mm. Left and right on the title screen now change the music mode, or you can still use select. Added music off as an option for people with no musical taste. Yes, agreed. <laughs> no musical taste. Yeah. Get it? Get it? Nice. Uh, up and down changes the start level. The demo allows play and start on levels up to and including level 12. We'll have to go to level 12. Uh, full game has 20 levels and then cycles back to level 1, but removes the ability to gain extra lives to add to the challenge. Um, that's a smart addition. So if you're going to start on a later level, you don't get to earn extra lives as you go. Because presumably you would have gained those extra lives playing up to that point and you would and you start with three mm. anyway right uh okay next thing uh new cinematic win sequence for completing the game level 20 not shown in the demo so we can't show no, it. no i missed it oh no <laughs> Uh, instruction pages is updated with various adjustments, formatting tweaks. You can now use left and right to navigate. I've added something here that I don't think's been done before in a 7800 game, uh, which which is the QR code. 
I'll have to try it. We'll have to go back and I'll try a different. I don't know if I have a different QR code reader. But it's working for other people. So oh my god. Right <laughs> oh, look, he's going along with the ball. Not awarding Lexter Lives is an interesting design choice as an alternative to awarding bonus points as in Tempest. Mm. Ah. I mean, it makes sense that if you're going to skip levels, that there's going to be some sort of disadvantage to you starting at a higher level. I think you can make it across the screen of the slow planes. I, I played this. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> you were ducking on the stairs? No, I wasn't trying to. Oh, you made it anyway. Just. Oh, extra life. Good work, Officer Kelly. That's five more crooks be back in the clink. You earned a promotion. Your next merit timer now awards 150 points per remaining unit. Mm. That's so awesome. Look at that animation. It looks fantastic. So good in the brick wall. Looks so good. Reminds me of when I had a Commodore 64. <gasps> and I would look in like the Amiga magazines and they had such awesome artwork. Yeah. As opposed to the Commodore 64. And just that, that brick really oh, reminds me of it. Oh, at least you get that. Thank goodness. Um, In-game changes. Uh, oh, additional instruction pages, credits page and coming soon page, various oh typos and formatting changes tweaks. In-game changes. Either button now works for jumping, so you can use either button, which is good. Why not? Graphics update. There are now items on the countertops. So you can see all the planes, the radios, the balls. That's very, very nice. And they're done well so that they're not, they don't really, oh, you ran out of time. Uh, hit, hit too I, many I, I, I did hit too many things. And they're very, um, they're very background. So they're not to interfere mm. with everything in the foreground. They're all like browns and black tones. Oh my gosh, I did the same thing again. You hit, hit something? Yes. Uh, I wasn't looking. I just, bad timing. Um, all of the missing bags, case pickups are now in the game. What are you doing over there? These cats. I tell you. Um, all, all of the missing obstacles are now in the game. More than 30 bugs and glitches squashed. Black screen transition bug, timing bugs, hit, uh, hit bug register on the next screen bug, and more. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Come on, back. Back, back, back. Yeah. Also, escalators are Tanya proofed. She will no longer be able to jump through them. Oh, yeah, because I jumped through them. I remember <laughs> yes. that. Like, multiple times you jumped through them. Uh, like, I, I couldn't replicate it. And you, kept, <laughs> you kept on doing it. I, I was know, like, I was what very good hell? at uh, jumping through escalators. <sighs> oh, that's going up. Yeah. Hit and Run Artist says, This game is all about waiting for the elevators to reach the perfect spot before you press the button to start the chase. It's so... Yeah, that's Time true. Time it right and always catch the lowest elevator up. Oh, does the game clock not start until you press the button? Because I remember Terrible on the 2600 ghost. version. Oh, come on. Oh, you don't have much time left, but uh, you can make it. You can do it. Maybe. Maybe. I landed right on the stair. It's a bad jump, but I landed on the stair. No, it doesn't matter. Well, I think you saved, you saved time you save by jumping. Do you save a bit of time? Yep. Because if you walk to the stairs, You'll start in the lower stair and go up, right? Ooh, four seconds. Where is he? You could do it. No. Maybe. 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 No. Maybe. Oh. oh! Oh, that was mean. Yeah, you're right. I should be paying yes. a bit more attention to where the elevator is. Yeah. Because oh, well. it's at the top now and you, you could still go up on it. The elevators are a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. A lot slower than the 2600 version. Yeah. So you have to get used to that if you play the 2600 version a lot. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if this has helped me, but anyway. What are some of the first year games for Atari? Oh, good question. Let me get out my spreadsheet and read them off. Why didn't I go to right the third floor? What is wrong with me? I stopped and oh, I could have gone to the third floor. It is a bit dangerous going to the third floor because he turns around, right? Does he? Yeah. True, but... It starts going down uh, and then messes you up. That messed me up. Terrible. Terrible. 
Uh, player, uh, lots of bouncing to game elements. High bouncing balls and double high bouncing balls completely reworked to have individual timers and be fairer. Ball bounce height suggested. <clears throat> oh, it started. There we go. Uh, jumping code reworked. Rubber, robber code extensively reworked. Ob object movement and emitter code reworked and improved. Emitter code. Uh, collisions improved. It's going up. Is it? Don't bother. Uh, player can static jump trolley obstacles and run under high bouncing balls if you time it right. I know you what? can. You can run under. You can them. run. I've under run them? under a couple of them. You yeah. can duck and run. No, not duck. Just run. Directly oh, run. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't do that on the twenty six hundred version. Like that. Oh, that's much better. Twenty six hundred version. You, you have to stop and. Um. Uh, uh, timing on obstacles balanced left and right as there were just some discrepancies in delay. Uh, minor palette tweaks on some elements like instruction text. Lots of time. Do I? Mm. Oh, you don't hit a plane. <laughs> not if you don't. No. Not if you hit things. Oh. oh I mean, not the worst stars game, but not the best. Going around his head. <sighs> Phew, I didn't realize there's so many changes since the earlier reveal demo you played through. Uh, final words. Keystone wouldn't be where it is without the testing and feedback from the bug, ca bug catchers. Trevor, S. Ramirez, S. Ramirez, and Crossbow. These guys tested every build, found bugs, and made suggestions to enhance the experience. Mm -hmm. Hi. I owe them a huge debt of gratitude. I also have to mention Bobby, Synth Papalooza, and his amazing tunes once again, and Matt Smith for helping to get them into the game, and of course ZPH and the team for showcasing Atari Homebrew. It's your turn? Yes! Mm -hmm. Little black oh. cat? Anyone want to see a little black cat? Oh, he's Aww. super cute. He is so cute. Yes, he's like a big velvet void. Black what's what's velvet your initials? Oh, T TCO. TCO. Yeah, thank you. Because this it's is actually so. Oh, yeah. it's tree oh. time! That's actually perfect timing. It is perfect timing. Because I can read out what the so, first releases are. For... We now have... Yeah, show them what we have. We have more than one bell. Yes, we're going to do an experiment. So we're going to see... Oh, there's crying already. We're going to see if we can feed them individually. See if they will ring their own bells. Yes. And okay. they'll only get a treat if they ring their a bell. own a bell. Not so, everybody right gets here. a treat. Can you see them? Oh my wait, goodness. Wait, wait. There we go. I'm just gonna meet the video game. Oh, he's, he's going crazy. <laughs> oh, they both did it. They both... Service, service. <laughs> service, please. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> We've created a monster. You can't see it. No? He's blocking it. No, it's okay. Just Good bring kitty. it forward a little. Tr give them, he's going I know. nuts, here, give here. a treat. There's a treat for you. Did you hit it? I I'll pretend he did. like you did. He did. did. Okay. If you did, you couldn't see it because he's blocked. <laughs> Who's going? Ding 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 ding. No, not a treat for every ding. No. No, no, no. He'd be this big. He'd be a chonkers, yeah. Rolling him to his food dish if we did that. Which bell? Which bell are you gonna use? Yeah. Okay, okay. There you go. He went from you gonna, not knowing you it hit your bell? to ringing the bell. Are you going to hit your bell? You got to hit the bell. You got to hit the bell, Atari. Okay, come here. It's over there. Come on, Atari. Get it. Atari. Atari's just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's so funny. Karen Cat, can I speak to the treat manager, please? <laughs> There, we did yeah, it. Yeah, good. good. That's kitty. good enough. That's good enough for you. No, no, not for you, Black Cat. He did ring it too. Did he? Okay, <laughs> there you go. There. You, oh my goodness. Sorry, I rolled it, it right under your your. It's right in the corner there. Oh my God, that's your, way too Sorry, far. sorry, it rolled over. He's like, hello, hello, tree. Service. Please. Service, please. He's hitting it. Yeah. Here. There you go. Good kitty. Yeah, good kitty. Not hitting it quite hard enough. That's okay. Double pawing. Yeah. Oh, he should get. Both bells going. Yeah, there you go. Somebody pointed out last time that he is ambidextrous. Yeah, he uses both. Oh, oh there you go. There Good we go. Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> and black cat, oh. 
Black Cat. And who started the the ringing? Oh yeah, it was uh, Vitoka, was it? Uh, RC seventy. RC seventy. Thank you. Okay. Okay, couple That's more, couple more. I'm so sorry, it's many. just these. I know, I know. So many. Okay, so the in 1977, there's Air Sea Battle, Basic Math, Blackjack. One second. Uh, Combat, Indy 500, Starship, Street Racer, Surround, and Video Olympics. So okay. those are the. Um, first nine that were released in 1977. So mm -hmm. we'll be playing those first. Okay, there you go. I've got two more in my hand, so I'll just let them... Yeah, we just Good. ordered these bells in Good. anticipation that they would use them individually, and yeah. it worked. Yeah. Oh, there's one left. One first left. one to the bell. It's a race for the last treat. Who will ring it? Oh, oh almost. Close. Sprite's trying. Oh, yeah. good kitty. Good kitties. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that's Wait, super cute. It is super cute. They are cute kitties, aren't they? Whoop. Nope. Let's see. Running okay, out of space. So it's all the all the uh Atari carts piled to the ceiling. We're going to start at level twelve. Oh, high level? Okay. Oh, that's Just that's so we challenging. Can, uh, Show oh, it all I off. I didn't look at the Oh my goodness. Those oh my are the God. worst. Those are the worst. I thought I could the remember. bouncy balls I always have the worst trouble with. Maybe it's I... all, the, all oh in God. the timing. Timing. I'm going to have to run for it. Two of them. Slow oh cards. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh. I have retired collections. I still can't clear the double bounce balls, so I don't even bother trying to. They're, They're hard. <laughs> really hard. Oh, triplets. Oh, I have to pause before every screen now. Yeah, you have to wait. I mean... 19 oh. seconds. I did I hit something. love when you run the railing. I ah. always find that funny. Run the railing? Yeah, when you're like, you're not quite on the stairs. You're kind of like running on the railing. Oh, oh I just take the hit and keep running. Yeah, <laughs> oftentimes that is the way to go. Oh, I almost hit that card. Oh, those those airplanes. Oof. Oof. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, oh, I forgot to look at the elevator. Pretty brave starting at level twelve without even warming up. Agreed. Yeah, well, I'm paying the price now. I'm gonna make the elevator. Oh, I might make the elevator. Oof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, idea. Yeah, it is brave. <laughs> uh, go, ball! Go! <laughs> Move faster, ball! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, my goodness. What did he say? There was something special in level 20? Yeah, there's like a special screen. When the full one gets out, we'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to try and... Oh, my God. Oh, two! There he is. One! Oh no! Did you get him? I think you just got him. Oh, <gasps> just wow! Got him. Good job, wow. Officer Kelly. You cleared all twelve levels of the demo. You deserve a good rest. Wow! Thanks for playing Keystone Copper Seven Eight Hundred Edition. I hope you enjoyed the demo. <laughs> this is a chaotic storm. Must be Black Friday. B B R B R. What is it? Best love? Best regards. Best regards. Mm, very British. Uh, and I get no score. <laughs> Some, Cool. So, should I play properly? Yes, you should. Okay. Do it from and the And then beginning. we'll go on to the next See how game. far you get. I certainly didn't get that far. <laughs> mm. I've done better. I've done better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten really far in the past, but... Can you read out some of the chat? Uh, I can't Yeah, it. no, um... Looks like things are happening. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah. Hit and Run Artist. Big difference to the 2600 version is that obstacles can be on the same level as the robber. Yes. Yeah. And multiple uh, things bouncing mm. uh, as well. Two balls at different... He uh, yeah, has a lot of difference. It's, it's, like you said, it's a mix between the 8-bit version and the 2600 version nice. and the C64 version. The problem was... Uh, yes, okay. See, the elevator keeps going in the direction that it was going. Mm -hmm. 
So but, if you know it's going down. But if you time it right, it always seems to you you get lucky and you hit it at the bottom each time when you start. You it almost do. like you can get in sync with it. Go, 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 go for a few you, levels you, you could do. jump over it. And that's how I got my patch <laughs> for for the 2600 oh, version yeah. by timing that because it's it's very it gets very hard. Yeah. Because you only get the big points really from the bonus at the end. Nice. Right? Mhm. Mm the cat's back. Usually they get their treats and leave. <laughs> oh god, I didn't look at the elevator. Is it's it okay. going down? It I don't know. It's probably time to go down. Mm, it should, it should be. Up well. I don't know where it is. It's in the middle. There it is. Good job. Perfect. Kind of. Like I said, once you have it in place, make sure you get to the elevator with a 45, 44 second left, and it should be on the first floor waiting for you. Ah, 45 second left. Oh, when you hit it. Mm. When you hit the elevator. Bad cats. Mm. Nostalgic Ass, Muddy Funster are the original obstacles and or patterns after level 12. Mm. And then Muddy Funster says, yep, it mirrors the originals up to 20. Psst, 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 psst. Then resets back to one, but you can no longer get extra lives. That makes sense. Watch that cat. I know, I see him. Oh, you can't. I swear I did that. Mm. But I might have ducked a bit too long there mm. on the first plane. I think you can get through it. If you're like really fast. See? You can. You can, you can, you can. It's going up. I don't know. It is. Noxious. Because I messed it up. That's why. Nostalgic. Also, I do like that there are objects on the shelves now. It's a rather nice touch. I like the objects the too. I noticed too. that. <sighs> um, going too fast. I noticed. I was thinking to myself, oh, I don't think those were there before. No, no. It's nice. Some it's of nice them were there. That in. Come here. Here. Black cat. Trouble? Yeah, you <laughs> trouble cat. He has the trouble noise. Yeah, I, when I died by the airplane, it messed up everything. Ah, money Door Funster. close button. Door close button. <laughs> <laughs> money Funster, that's from the 5200 and C64 versions. I liked it, so I found a way to add it. The objects on the shelves. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah they're brilliant. Hit and run out of it. it was such a drab department store with empty shelves before lol. <laughs> yeah, you can do the slow plane if you're really quick at ducking. Oh no! I pressed it. I ducked. I'm doing terrible. Where did the cat go? He's like behind the. Is he in, in the couch? He's like in the couch now. <sighs> Playing it too risky. <sighs> It's it's easy. You want speed, right? You want to do it fast, and then yep. you make mistakes. That's that's the trade-off. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you want speed, or do you want? <laughs> Money Funster James is living on the edge. I, I am. I'm pushing. I've got the edge. Aerosmith songs in my head now. Oh Thanks. no! Why? <laughs> Let's get that bag. And there you there go. There you go. And I got the extra life. I love the shadow yeah. on the guy. Oh, is it going down? I didn't notice. So I miss it. Oh, I hate those balls so they're not, much. They're not bad now I that just, you can walk under them. I just don't like them. I always mistime it. Oh, uh, go. It. Nice. Can't Sprite, does Sprite go under the couch anymore? He has not in a while. Yeah, he because he he bigger. remembers when he was looking out from underneath where you move oh, the cam, so good. and he had fallen asleep and he was oh, underneath the couch. That was so adorable. Adorable. I, I he probably could still fit. He's still pretty small. Yeah, he um, has grown. He's like doubled in size though, almost since yeah, we got him. He has. I'm not taking that risk anymore. It's it's way too risky. Yeah. Gotcha. Woo! I always jump on the guy because it's fun. Good work. Promotion! Is it going down? Okay. Hmm. Where are those annoying three ball bounce obstacles? Honestly, I don't miss them here at all. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Mighty Funster. Uh, the question about Sprite got him confused. He's like, <laughs> very confused. There are no couches in the game. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I see no, the sprites no. on the screen, but the, not the Is couches. Is he still under the. Where are He's you? He's probably sleeping under there now. Naughty, naughty, naughty cat. 
Oh, hey. Yeah, got him. Uh -huh. Oh, got an extra life. I'm earning it back. Slowly earning it back. Oh, there's the soot sprite. Soot sprite is back. Was that down there? It was, no. The, oh. the Nintendo Star was there. Ah. Where are you? I can hear him making noises. <laughs> noises? It's a little gremlin. It's like having rats, mice. Jump to tackle him at the end. Yeah. Yes, always do that. I don't know if it's faster, but I doubt it. It's it just probably... feels more satisfying. Like, I'm sure we're both, like, <laughs> just blocks. Yeah. Oh, you can do that. The cart, fast cart chasing you can mm. jump right at the end. Like, the hitboxes are probably just big blocks, and it doesn't really matter if you jump or not. Mm. Oh, God. But nice. I always do it, because it's fun to jump on his head. Hey, three lives! What's the patch score for this, again? And no, does it hold true for this game? <laughs> Oh, so fast. Nice. Ooh, I'm getting nice timing. Very lucky with those elevators now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ball. So scared. It's good to be a little cautious. <laughs> <laughs> Patch score, that is. What? I, I haven't know, written down my oh. notes, but I'm playing, so I can't. Oh, I should have got that bag of money first. Ah, uh, it's all right. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. It depends how much money you get for the how much how many points you get for the bag versus the time you would say like yeah. the time you would lose so. and how close you are to the next yeah. countdown. True. As well. Ooh, you can make it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. But it almost so you can do it cart. almost grazed your head. Uh, you yeah, slow ball. No. Come on, come on, come on! It, it did almost graze my head. I took the risk. It's like it, it, it showed up as you crossed the screen and you kind of got a, um, I don't want to say a mulligan on that, but it <laughs> was like, uh, you know, you, you probably would have hit you if you hadn't just walked into the screen. Yeah. Four lives. How many nice. lives can you get? Is it maximum four? 35,000 is patch score on 2600 Oh, version. I'm destroying that. Yeah. This is a lot easier than the 26. Does the game oh, make God. you inadvertently kick your leg? Is James kicking his leg? Is his leg going... <laughs> Am I? I don't know. Are you? Now I'm aware of it, so you can't judge it now. <laughs> <laughs> Some people really... Uh... <gasps> too much talking. Too much yep. talking. It's risky now. All these levels are too crazy. Um, really have a connection with games where their body inadvertently like especially like steering like they'll like go like this oh or the, yeah do the controller like extreme like in a video game like um sorry like in a tv commercial like yeah whoa man well i played uh i don't know does Five darcy darcy still have his vr system My level 10 so two more yeah uh oh yeah 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 it was, it was still because we were playing we were playing his his vr and I cannot help but duck things. And he's like, well, you know, they can't actually hit you, but it's just too real to me. It's like, how do you, that's, that's a crazy, that's crazy ball bouncing thing going on there. I still have four lives. Did I, did, was there a mistake? Because I swear I lost, more? I lost a life, but it still stayed at Maybe four. Maybe you got another one? I may have just, <gasps> see. You did oh, lose one, but maybe you oh, had more Oh, I didn't lose a life. One. Sorry, I, I ran into something. Oh, slow carts. Non interfering with me at all. <laughs> Muddy Funster. On the 2600 version, my mom back in the day used to raise the joystick when she jumped. Oh, I think yes. She thought it I've helped. seen that too. Yeah. That's funny. <gasps> no. Oh, I got him anyway. Whew. One more level. One more level. RC70, I done. do it with Rocket League constantly. <laughs> so, uh, oh, no. Uh, yeah, only the airplanes take your life or right. running out of time. Uh, yeah. Everything else what, just takes time away. Because I was like, airplanes. oh, did I. Brutal. I didn't lose a life when I hit that, but you don't. I lost time. You you lose time, but you had enough. So, yeah. The Ooh. triple, you have to kind of stop. Kind of a mentally bit. pause. Your brain yeah. needs to pause a little bit. Oh. Nice. I think this is the last level. Hi, are you coming out? Where have you been? Come here. Oh, I should have got that bag. Seventy thousand, seventy-one hundred. Finish the demo! Woo! <laughs> nice. All 12. 
Whoa, jump, jump, <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Very awesome. Really fun demo. Um, definitely give it a download. Muddy Funster says it's going to be posted on Saturday. <laughs> Wherever Saturday is in your time zone. Because <laughs> he's he's in Tomorrowland right now. He's at 3 a.m. Tomorrow? He is in Tomorrowland. So he's already in Saturday. He's already in Saturday. Yeah, so it's go. going to be posted Saturday. Very cool game. Awesome, awesome, awesome update mm -hmm. to is it, like all these all these ports are almost like they're the best versions of mm. these games now because there's so much care put into all of them and mm -hmm. so much detail and this one especially it amalgamates multiple versions mm -hmm. of like three versions of the game and puts all their best things together. Oh, it's great! The really cutscenes are great. Yeah. Um, the little, the even the little, the little um, image of the cop with the flies, you know, defeated at the end. All of them are great. They look fantastic. So it is time for the next game. <gasps> Squish, Squish the, cat. the cat. Squish the cat. A R T I. Let me change the graphic here. There we go. And this is. By Mighty Funster as well. We've got a double Ooh, header here. Yeah. Um, so this is from yesterday as well. ARTI stands for Archaeological Rescue Team International, which is a port of hero, mm. which I've not got my patch for because it's really hard. Mm. Now, Mighty Funster has made some changes, and we saw those last time, to the thing I have the most trouble with in hero, which is the short pause before he starts moving and flying. Drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. And like when you change directions too, on the 2600 version, okay. he has fixed that. Ooh, nice. um, so this was first posted May 7th, 2022. 128K game. Um, and this build is from yesterday. Let's get that going. Atari Hotless. Muddy Ready. Oh. Didn't have the sound on for that whole time. That's okay. We we could hear it in the background probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend I turned it off. Mm. Uh, Artie, public demo number one, July 2022, build 97. So uh, this, he will be releasing the demo, I believe, tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is the first time people will be able to experience this game because we just played it last time on the show. That's right. I don't think they it was, released it. It was an it early, early... Released. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of cool. a preview version. Yep. Okay. That's just how I track version. 97 builds. Probably way more than That's that. That's a lot of builds. That is. <laughs> um, this demo differs from the preview demo you showed a couple months ago. Okay, press button. Mm -hmm. A Muddy Vision reproduction. Nice. Not a port, a reproduction. I like that. Because it's very, very different mm. than the other games. Okay. Awesome music. Wait, one awesome music. I was gonna hit options, but nothing. There we go. Um, We've read this before, so I'll just hold it on the screen. Additional credit screen, so we can go uh, forward a bit. Oh, and there's a little hero. Mm -hmm. Our hero, which is his name mm -hmm. in the game, not not in this game. Um. I can't remember how many pages of instructions there were last time. I think there was less. So activate dynamite. Oh, spelling mistake. Dynamite needs an eye. Um, dynamite where? On the last line. Activate dynamite. Oh. Uh, you have to be standing still to drop a dynamite and move. Orf? Jolly quick. Orf jolly quick. <laughs> I mean, it could be his accent. Move orf. Move off. Uh, or it's Cheerio back to the start, and you do only get six sticks, old, old team. Oh, nice. is that the end of the instructions? Uh, I don't nope. think so. I think I screwed that up again. I think there we go. Did it again. There uh, we go. Oh, I think we did see this. We did. Credits is moved to the title screen. There we go. Environmental hazards. T. Yeah, we did see this. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, Mighty Funster says credits is moved to the title screen. So, oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see that. 
Credits acknowledgements. ARTIs inspired by the Atari 2600 game Hero by John Van Rysen, 1984. Atari 7800 Pro System Adaptation, ARTI 2022 Muddy Vision. Coding Graphics, Lewis Hill. Music, Bobby Clark. Code Guru, Mike Sarna. Music Help, Matt Smith. T-Boss, Mrs. H. Very important. Very, Testing, very Crossbow, Esmeralds, Trebor. Build, number 97 July 2022. Fire, fire to return to the title page. There you go. And there's no options yet, right? Mm -hmm. No. Not that I can tell. <laughs> Very right. nice title I screen. You love can see the title a cigar screen. Love the little Indiana up. Jones figure with the with the cigar. He's the guy the for the job. Smoke. But there's awesome. a snake very close behind him, mm -hmm. so he's in he's in danger. Sneaking up the eye. Or at least uh, gonna be very scared soon because <laughs> he hates snakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into it. Ooh, this is new. Nice. ARTA Charter MU7800. <laughs> South America. Look at the clouds. <gasps> so nice. The plane slightly going up and down. Yeah. Nice power up. I forget how to do this now. Second button. Dynamite. Run away. You have to move Orf. <laughs> move Orf it. Look at that skull. And going in front of things. Shoot him. Yay! See, Indy is in trouble. You have to rescue Indy. Mm. Level two. Okay, additions and changes. Pokey tunes. Some tunes are not featured in the demo, specifically those for other themes. Seven complete levels in this demo. Big bats, big spiders. Lava hazards and water hazards are implemented. Ooh, can't wait to see the lava. Oh, Indy's there. Does he have in his hand a shovel? Another hat? <laughs> uh, updated game over screen. Additional credit screen. Nice little uh, pillar brace mm -hmm. holding up the rocks. Some uh, archaeological. Yeah. Um, I, I meant to oh, say... Oh, you missed the light. Very lucky. <gasps> oh, oh, come on. There we go. Are um, the enemies now larger? I'm imagining that. Architectural. Seem Architectural additions. Ah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I'm like, archaeological is just stuck in my brain. Oh, that's no good. Nope, nope. You can blast through the wall. This wall? Oh, yes, I guess I can. Because it'd be very hard to go past that bat. True. When good going down. Point. And you would also turn out the lights. Uh, many code refinements, including improved collisions and environmental collisions. Easier to now to go down narrow vertical drops. Look at that muddy mud down at the bottom. Muddy, muddy funster. <laughs> Level four. Um, some minor graphical adjustments. I always find it's the way that's hardest to go down. That's the one you should go down. Yeah, you turn out the lights. Too late now. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, the bat's on that side, so... Ooh. You get to see the dark, though. That's well, pretty open. Oh, no! Oh, it's very dark. Was it blocked down there? Oh, I hit the... Oh, I hit the light again. There might be a thing to blow up there. No. Nope. Did you nope. lay down dynamite? I thought so. Oh, nope. nope. You're going to have to go down there. the other side. Use the TNT to light up the screen. I can't. Oh, what happened? How did you kill that guy? I don't know. I, I, that was weird. You'd have I don't to go know up what was around. going on. Oh, now that you got rid of him. Oh, lights all the way down. Don't get too close. Uh, extra life is now awarded for an, on 20,000 points. Lights all the way down. Uh, bonus scoring for time remaining has been updated and overhauled. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Ugh. Well, you might be able to fly to the left or right. There you go. Um, there's still a lot to do with Artie, and it remains... Oh, come on. Ran out of time. Did I? Yep. Uh, and it remains very much a work in progress, but it's coming along well. I'm sure there will be glitches and bugs, and some things need tweaking, like respawn locations in certain circumstances. I went down the correct way this time. Well, just as you say, always pick the hardest. Yep. No! You went right into the snake! Oh, I didn't even see it! 
I didn't oh, even see it. Don't remember it from last time? Well, no. I don't remember there being a snake there. Did you shoot your laser through the wall to defeat that snake? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. She I don't was know. really far away. Oh. Tanya's doing it on hard mode. I always do it on hard mode. That's how I that's how I run. Yep. Oh, no, that. you can still go there. Just go to the left or right. I can't. I can't move to the left or right. Oh, he was completely blocking it. There we go. Snake. Snake, snake. I see snake. him. I There's see a snake him. There. I can see him now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, like spawn relocations, certain circumstances, laser. Ooh, look at that wall. Uh, wall destruction speeds, so on. Can I'm really pleased. That one? No, 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 it's too thick. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't think so. It's now far along enough that I can share a demo. Oh, you're getting too close. You scared me. Do you have a time limit? Look at those. You can't touch those walls, I think. They're the Are they lava walls. Yes. Oh. So remember in the 2600 version, oh. the walls that are red are deadly. You probably have to go down. Oh, maybe not. Either way, because one has a snake. There you go. Oh. Don't touch it. What did I. Oh, this. The Don't wall. Don't touch it. Careful. I didn't. Don't I... touch the walls. I didn't think I was that close. We have no lives left. Oh no. Watch out for snakes, ground troopers. <laughs> oh. Hey, snakes. Gotta rescue Laura. Yeah. There you go. Oh, he got an extra life. Careful with those walls. Very dangerous. You have to be. Yeah, you have to get close enough, but. The roadmap looks a little bit like this. Addition of two or more uniquely themed uh, areas. The remaining classic areas. Uh, remaining classic levels, taking the screen count to 256. Ugh. Oh, you went to the right. Oh, I no. thought it would be okay, but. Oh, apparently. don't go down there. Don't go down there, Spideys. Ooh. No, did it get me? Yeah. Oh, no. That's a tough one. Not much room. Don't That's tough have too. Have to go down. Very careful. Yeah. You just have to fall off the edge. Uh, additional levels, shooting for as many as ninety additional screens. So he's going to add even more levels. So you're going to have to fly away from this one. Yeah. No, that's not hard. No. It's when One, it's right at the edge. And there's lava walls, or hot walls, I guess. This is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> uh, save key and AV support. I f oh, look! It's Pitfall Harry! Woo, Pitfall Harry! Oh, level 7. Last one. Is it? Yep. Oh, you can goodness. do it. You have no lives. Okay. Oh, the I'll probably die on this level. That's usually how my... That's I find that MO. the lights are always on the right-hand side of the wall. Do you? So hug the left if I you can. I don't know if you're. Entirely... I don't know if that is correct, but. Oh no! Snakey, shoot that snakey! Oh, the, there's a wall there. I think where the snake was. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh. Don't touch that! I can't. You fly over. No, I couldn't. Oh. It was blocked. Terribly sorry, old bean, but Very we've close. run out of H suits. Your jo turn. Jolly good try, though. That means <laughs> Correct, over. James. I don't know what he was correct on, but... Oh, the light's on the right-hand side. Mm. So uh, hug the left, yeah. Options to disable music, activate CRT mode. Hmm, wonder what that is. Mm. And so on. Dynamite can't kill beasties yet. That needs adding. Mm -hmm. Again, huge thanks to Bobby for more fantastic pokey mu tunes and Steve, Jesse, oh, and Robert for their support music. and testing. Yeah. I also need to be say a big thank you to Matt for helping me get the tunes into 7800 Basic and Mike Revenge for his help guidance with compression. Nice. I'm also working on integrating compression on the level files into the work in progress. Uh, build and Mike's help and guidance have been invaluable. Mm. Okay, let's beat this. Level Good night, seven. RC70. Good night, RC70. Yeah. And you can just fire your laser as much as you want. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Um, you're running out of power, I don't think. Mm -hmm. 
Kittens, Upside Down Cat. Love that mm, glorious poker music. Yep. It's agreed. so good. Synth Papalooza has hit it out of the park with both of these. See, I avoided the light. Mm. Going down the left. Go down the left. Yay! Four. Glad you get all your uh, dynamite back. It would be a lot yes. harder. Oh if my you god, yeah, to uh, limited. reserve your dynamite. Oof. Die, die soon. Almost always down the one. Mm hmm. The harder with one. The as harder you say. one with, with the rock wall. It's generally walls. a good It's a generally it's a good generally, approach. It's not always. Not right. always. Especially in the later levels. Oh, remember you can use laser to take out walls too. It just takes a bit of time. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I do remember that. If you run out of. I mean, you wouldn't want to do that unless you run out of dynamite. Sometimes there's, you know. Ooh. What? No. Nope, what just happened? No, don't go up. No, he's still dead. there. I, kill, I, kill, I guess. Did you? He's the one who killed me because. Yeah. Because he disappeared, right? Mm. If he didn't kill me, then. But I swear. I went fast enough, but mm. I guess you can't. I wasn't supposed to go down that way. It's good that on one of the indie theme levels the snake has him trapped. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. I'm sure very intentional. Mm. Oh, see, it's not actually that hard to get past. Ooh. Stay on this side. What? That was BS. <laughs> I'm you nowhere it. near it. I've not gone left no, or right. You, you breathe. I'm you I've breathed, breathed in, on its, it, I in guess. its general direction. Yeah, there you go. That's some BS there, Muddy Funster. Mm. <laughs> you at level seven? No, six. No, one more to go one after, more this. after this. Oh, the flying is glorious. You yes. take off instantly. It's lovely. Oh, it's. You shouldn't have to fight with controls on games. And that is one of the things in mm. 2600 Hero that drives me up the wall. Harry! Harry! Come for you! Mm -hmm. The laser hit the light. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Did it? That could be true. Was I firing the laser? I don't think you were, but... I don't think I was, but maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Spicer says Laura Croft, and Muddy Funster says any resemblance is purely coincidental. Yeah, just, just. Yes, you can shoot out the lights. I swear that's not what happened, but. Uh... Oh, what did I get seventy-five points for? I don't know something else. Oh, I hit the wall you. as I was killing the snake. Maybe. I took out the wall. That's way faster than. Than, than in the twenty-six hundred version. Not expecting you to survive that. No, no, was I. <laughs> Oh, 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 let's move over. Oh boy. That's very close. Yeah, level 7 is uh, upping it. Upping the difficulty, that's for sure. It's probably not the right way. No, it is. Last dynamite. Ooh. And about. Yay! Demo complete. I say, Woot! jolly good show, you've completed the demo. While completing the demo is rather <laughs> smashing, it's just the start. There will be more to do. Nice. Full version plan features, 256 wow. classic screens. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. 50 all new screens wow. on top of that, so 306 screens. Wow. I'll never make it through those. Uniquely themed zones. Atari box and save key Very support. Nice. And much more. Very nice. Unbelievable. Yeah. That is awesome. And the flying mechanics, 
is a breath of fresh air. That is for sure. I have to get back to uh, 2600 Hero and comp yeah. get my patch one day. Hard, hard. That is a bad case of Actiplac as well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's it's not mottled. It's just no, kind of faded. It's very faded. Like yeah. it's been sitting on someone's um, oh, God. windowsill for a while. Oh, that's a cool synth Academy. sound. And I'm not crashed, sure what's going on there, but it crashed. It's but, the uh, pink screen of death. That's pink not <laughs> that's not a usual one. Usually, it's yellow. Yeah. Pink screen of death. Very nice. Hi, kitty. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, excellent, excellent job. Thank you yes. so much, Muddy, Muddy Funster. Muddy Funster, two amazing games. For allowing us to debut those games on the show. Yeah. I'm always so happy and so grateful that the community supports this show so much. I know. We get so many good games on this show. And um, yes. that they let us debut the games and trust us with these games yep. to show them off. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, I'm not as terrible as I could be playing the games and I'm able to do an okay job and show things off. And uh, thank you to the community as well for showing up as well yes. to, to watch us play these games. That's amazing. It, uh, it's so much fun. Okay, so on to the next exclusive game, mm -hmm. which is from John Shampoo is watching Stranger Things. So shh, don't say any spoilers. <laughs> it's not in the chat, but no, no. Money Fun says thanks for playing him and thanks for the kind comments yes, and feedback. Thank you. Hope to purchase each one of these at PRGE. Mm -hmm. um, I I am guessing. I don't know. I don't think ARTI is going to be ready because that's a lot more to go. Keystone mm -hmm. Coppers is. There we go. Muddy Funster says Keystone should be available Excellent. at PRG. Excellent. That's what I thought, because that is pretty much done, unless yes. there's some some bug that somebody finds in it. Mm. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be playing Gorf Arcade next yeah. from Champ Games. So very excited. Um, so we first posted this November 26, 2019, mm -hmm. and I got this build today. Mm -hmm. And this is the full version of Gorf Arcade. Uh, work in progress full version. The one that's posted in the Atari Age forums is the demo. So we'll be able to take a look at some of the more advanced options mm -hmm. in uh, Gorf Arcade. Um, this is by uh, John Champeau, coding and design, Nathan Strum, graphics and voice. Nathan mm -hmm. Strum's in the chat. And Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus on the music and sounds. So let's hook up the Atari box. I made a note for myself to do that because I forgot. So it's good. I made a note for myself. So port number two, where did you go? To follow it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Because this has a lot of voices in it. Not just save key support. Okay. But voices too. Okay. Yeah. Esther Mayor says, oh yeah, you really need the Atari play. box for this one. You really need it. it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you can play it without it, but to really get everything out of it, you definitely need it. If you want to grab that... This controller. Controller. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, little guy. Did you squish him? No, he just... Oh, kinda, you squished he him. He got his paws under my, my bum, so... <laughs> yeah, okay. He's, he's all good. Oh, he's so soft. He's got kitten oh, fur. Oh, I love it when he does this. He puts his... Don't it, know if you can you see You can't that. see it. Oh. He puts his chin on your leg. Bloop. He's Quit. a sweet kitty. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, okay. That was cute. He's a sweet kitty. Uh, I'm curious if anyone knows why the color palette in Gorf and Wizard of War was limited to blue, red, and yellow. Don't load it yet. Um, you want to switch this up? Oh, yes. That's very important. It doesn't work without switching that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, why is that so okay. Blame the cats. Blame the cats. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Let's... Do it. Mm -hmm. Load it up. Save key found. Long uh, live Gorf. Long live Gorf. <laughs> and here comes Gorf bouncing on the screen. Arcade. Okay. So we have novice, advanced, challenge. So press up. Credits, and I read these out already. Press up again. High, high scores. scores, and we do have the Atari box plugged in for yes. the high scores. 
Uh, up again. The evil Gorfian robot empire has attacked. Your assignment is to repel the invasion and launch a counterattack. You will engage various hostile spacecraft as you journey towards a dramatic confrontation with the enemy flagship. Ooh. Good luck. Very nice star field as well. Oh, and the high scores again. Mm -hmm. Okay, there have been many changes. I am uh, not more the empire. Long live the Gorfian Empire, I think. So, you want to play novice first to get Try to, to remember the game. Oh, yes. Well, there are five levels. Astro Battles is the first one. Then Laser Attack. Then Galaxians. Then Space Warp. Then Flagship. So, right now, this is Astro Battles, which is space invaders ish and uh hi and instead of shields along the bottom it's one arcing shield which is really cool still has ufos so so gorf is kind of an amalgamation of five games in one which ah. makes it really cool Terrible. i'm not very good at this game no <laughs> kittens no 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 <laughs> nostalgic says this says this looks so good uh, Nathan Strum says, probably the hardware they're developed on. This is, <laughs> this is kind, right of, into it. Kind, of, <laughs> kind of unique. This level. So it's kind of like a bunch of games, but it's also not like a bunch of games. Uh, this is laser attack. Um, so there have been, uh, with Kick's development... Complete and amazing artwork. And this is obviously Galaxian. Um, which is missing in a lot of the versions because of licensing issues. Yeah, it is Galaga-esque. Stop it. Stop it, bad cat. Dang it, Johnny WC23. I'm going to have to bet, buy yet another Champ Games game. Stop How does it. that happen, eh? <laughs> it's attacking my arm. It's being very bad. Um, there have been many changes and updates since the last demo, including enhanced graphics. You can't dodge them on the edges. Enhanced graphics and animations, including proper flagship explosion and space warp animation, courtesy of Nathan Strum. All new arcade quality sounds, courtesy of Bob Decuzenzo. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't know. You can move for it just a little bit, but you can dodge a bit. Additional speech phrases, over 35 now. Courtesy of... And you can move up and in this one too, maybe, maybe not. I have to shoot him. They're shooting Jupiters at you. Ah! Ah! They are shooting, shooting Jupiters. Uh, mission select screen to choose the starting rank in battle. Uh, numer uh, numerous gameplay tweaks you and difficulty. You cannot escape the Gorfian robots. We added more Stop taunting. It. I love it. Stop. Oh my god. How would you like a nice game of insert coin? <laughs> Scratching my arm up to hell. Is he? Oh no. Uh, additional invaders in Astro Battles, up to 48. Additional laser gunners and formations in laser attack, plus the bombers now well drop bombs. Full Galaxian arcade formation in Galaxians, max 48 uh, enemies. <gasps> plus the enemies can fire in formation now. Uh, nice. Your ship gets pulled to the center of the wormhole in Space War, plus missed enemies reappear in the center. The flagship battles now feature bombers in addition to the Gorf escort ships, plus a regenerating shield if you don't destroy the flagship fast enough. Did you have to restart a game? Yeah. Uh, you didn't make it to the final stage? No. Oh god, no. We made it to level four. I, ah, I'm just terrible. They shoot lasers. I know they do. Watch out. Uh, Gorf Arcade is scheduled for release at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo in nice. October. Available at the Atari Age booth in limited quantities. And you can get it signed there, maybe. 
if he's in the right mood. <laughs> and then through Atari Age store for the holiday season. Nice voices. Um, the, the full ROM will be available to purchase through the Champ Games website soon after that. Oh, if you restart too soon, you start clipping phrases. Dwarf says more at the high you're score. In, you're on, you're well, you distract me, but sure. No, no, no. When you die, when, yes. don't, don't hammer the Like, let it, let it... Uh, because there's phrases. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep, we'll do that next time. Uh, head on over to Champ Games download page and try out the latest demo. So this is available right now, the demo version of this game. Uh, so... Let me read what he says about the full version here. Gorf Arcade is one player only, similar to Mappy. Since we couldn't come up with a good... Talks a lot. <laughs> uh, uh, since we couldn't come up with a good two-player co-op mode idea, we sacrificed the two-player alternating mode so we could use up those bytes for challenge mode and other features. So this is a one-player-at-a-time game. There's not a two-player alternating uh, game so that they could put more into it. Too bad, space rookie. <laughs> Too bad, space rookie. You cannot escape the Morphian robot. Nice. Nice. Uh, Next time, try a new year game, space <laughs> rookie. <laughs> she, wa she was. Try an easier game. Oh, easier game. I thought it was easier, <laughs> easier level it was implying. Nice. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Gotta get to, get to the last I'll level. Get to the last level. You can do it. Can you shoot that guy at the top? That's yeah, my question. But probably not while he's putting the guys out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can and maybe there's less people to shoot. Anybody know that? Gotta try that when, it, when it's your turn. The first five missions on Novice are training missions, so they're labeled T1, T2, etc. The actual mission numbers begin when you reach Space Cadet, uh, or start on Standard or higher. Ah. Oh, you can. And does it interrupt uh, the guy putting the invaders down? Yeah. Oh, but he still drops guys. Okay. That answers both my questions. Um, since... It's only one player. There are no quad Tari support since it's not needed. The game does support save key and Atari Vox save high scores. The Atari Vox will also uh, the Atari Vox will also play phrases during the game. There are 36 different phrases included, all 30 arcade phrases plus six new ones. As usual, I don't know. Well, I have the arcade phrases in my notes, so I'm gonna. So I'll get to those in a second. As usual, use that joystick left or right uh, to select skill and up and down to view the other oh screens. God. Just like the intro, high score and credits. Press the button to return to the title screen and press it again to start a game on the first mission. Rank Space Rookie for Novice, Space Cadet for all others. Oh, good night, Muddy Funster. 4 a.m. there. Thank you Ooh, for staying thank up. Thank you for staying up. Thank you again for letting us debut your games. Both amazing and awesome. Oh yeah, congratulations on fin finishing uh, uh, Keystone Cops. <sighs> or, uh, yep, Keystone Coppers. Uh, let's see, where was I? From the title screen, you can press select to bring up the select mission screen to choose the starting rank up and down, stage left and right. For novice, you can only choose stage. For other skill levels, you can select the first four ranks, Cadet, Captain, Colonel, or General. There are eight different ranks, plus Rookie for a total of nine. In the final version, there will be a hundred missions to complete. Oh my god. A hundred? Yes. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get through the first, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the final version, there, da, 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 at which time the game will end and a congratulations message will appear. Nice. Slams right into you. Right into you. 
You cannot escape the Your turn. You're gonna have to read these. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um. Too bad. Found out a nice name of death in their coin. Okay, I'm gonna play novice first as well. Oh, I'm screwed this. You will meet a more immune face or see. And get him. Nope. Dad, damn it. <laughs> the differences in skill levels and ranks are more and faster enemies, increased rate of fire, etc. Advanced is supposed to be as difficult as the arcade, with standard a bit easier. Novice, first five missions are for training and are pretty easy. Uh, challenge mode is more difficult than advanced and offers some new gameplay elements on each screen. Uh, Astro Battles, a new row of invaders is added for each rank, up to a total of 48. <laughs> um, a new row of invaders, sorry, yeah, uh, invaders fire information even when the Gorf is still dealing with them out at the start of the level. Laser attack, different enemy formations, some with extra enemies. The yellow bombers will fire when dive bombing. Oh god. For the escape, no perimeter. Uh, an additional group of enemies with a third gunner is added in the later ranks. The Galaxians. Additional boss ships are added to start, four instead of two. Additional rows of enemies are added in later levels to a max of 42 total. Galaxian arcade colors are used once the max is reached. Mm. Galaxians information will fire at your ship, similar to the invaders in Astro Battles. Space Warp. The gravitational pull of the wormhole will pull your ship towards the center, making it more difficult to maneuver. Uh, enemies that exit the screen and are not destroyed will reappear back in the middle. A flashing yellow dot in the center and warning sound will indicate this. Mm. That's interesting. Difficulty switches. The left difficulty controls the firing mode. B uses the cork laser when your current shot is cancelled if you fire again. Uh, this is how it is in the arcade. A disables the cork laser so each shot must hit an enemy or exit the screen before you can fire again. Uh, sharpshooter mode. Your missile does, does move slightly faster in this mode. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Come on. So we must be in B on the difficulty switch? We are right now, yeah. Yeah. Because it resets. This is the easy mode. Oh! As with all champ games, flip the color black-white switch, pause on a 7800 during a game to pause the game. Press the button or flip the switch again to unpause. Release plans. The game is about 95% complete. The to-do list includes add a few more sounds, flagship start level, space warp start level, etc. Difficulty ramping adjustments and tweaks. Other bells and whistles if the ROM permits. Good job. We are a planning... lot of shots. Yeah. Space Cadet. Woo, Space Cadet. Space warp effect is new. John did a great job with that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, he dropped one just in my way. Uh, we are planning to release the game at PRG in October in limited nice. quantities at the Atari Age booth. Uh, with the game available in the AA store during the holiday season and the full ROM available in the Champ Games store soon after that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It'll be available for Christmas. Thanks to Nathan for all the graphics, voices, and lots of game testing. Thanks also to Bob DeCrescenzo for stepping in to redo all the existing sounds and create all the new ones. Amazing. And he says, thanks again, James. Oh, thank you, John. Yay. Anytime. I will gladly play your games. <laughs> they are awesome. What? He dropped off a new guy. Kathy Man 2D says, I remember the coin-up Gorf had the ranks under plastic and would change which was lit up pinball stuff. Oh, very nice. That, that's, that's I like that. Thing. I like that. Something almost mechanical about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
actual light yeah. bulb. The flagship explosion and final player death are also new. Uh, oh my god, I'm going too close. Yeah, I, yeah. I find this the hardest of all of them, for sure. It is, actually. Because when the balls come out, the the Jupiters, or whatever they are, <laughs> come out fast and furious. Ah! Oh Super my hard. God. Oh my god! <laughs> That's brutal! Like, are they, like... No, they're not even aiming at you. I'm just getting really, really unlucky with them. You do have to move up. Here. Space warp gets really brutal later. I don't doubt it. It's brutal even at the beginning, I find. Because they're so but I, hard I, to hit. I also have not played much of this game, so it's it's really hard when I you first start. barely played the original like 2600 version? Yeah. I've never played it in the arcade. Mm. I don't think I've, I've never, ever seen it I've in never the arcade. Seen it. it can't be, like, maybe it's not that mm. common. I don't know. I, I don't think so. All the arcades we've been it. to, I've never yeah. been, I've never seen it. Yeah. Did I make the rankings? Yay. High score. Yay. I did a, I did a high score. On the very Esther bottom. Esther says we have one in our local arcade. Oh, nice. And then, yeah, Ivory oh, Tower says it's a pretty neat looking arcade cab. Okay, so now we're going to crank it up. Okay, you're going to be playing this one. I won't get past level. Go advanced first. Like the first round. Push that laser button. <laughs> Push that laser button. <laughs> oh, I got him! <gasps> oh, his, his, his corpse shoots oh. out all the... Uh... Oh, that is awesome. That's I love that. so funny. This smoldering corpse still throws out all it. the invaders. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Very oh, S. Ramirez, my sons and I always play it. That's cool. Ah, it is a good game because it, it varies so much. Like, nice. It's five games in one. Nice. Ah, this is closest to the arcade. Yes, yeah, it said that in the, um, in the ah. levels, yeah, that it was... Gosh. They are gunning the for you. The ones I don't like, the laser ones, I find so challenging. In the arcade, can you retract your bullet, or, is you have, or do you have to wait? Like, uh, this like, said, so difficult. this is how the arcade does it. Uses the cork laser where your current shot is cancelled if you fire again. Okay. So it disables the laser, that's level A on the difficulty switch. So that just makes it harder than the arcade. Yeah. So that one, you must hit an enemy or exit the screen before you can fire again. Right. So the arcade, yes, you, you can retract your bullet, I oh, guess, okay. would be the, yeah. Retract. Retract the bullet back in. Yeah. Quark laser. I like that it has a name. The quark laser. Very specific. Oh my god. Ah! Went the wrong way. When I was test, when I was testing this out um, for John, or not for John, but when I was testing to make sure everything was working before the show, and he passed it to me. I had the unfortunate incident on this level yeah. of being killed by something like that. Okay. And then when I reappeared. It immediately ran into he you? He immediately ran into me. Like, <sighs> half second, I did not have time uh, to react. Oh, and no, it was just like that's the worst. Sure coincidence. Oh. Oh, my God, that's hard. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> Something about coins. <laughs> okay. Now, there is another mode. Which is, yeah, I did not get high score. Which is the um, challenge mode. Challenge mode. And I explained it, uh, I explained. and it just has more attitude. It's harder than the arcade. Harder than the arcade. Yeah, harder than the arcade. Oh boy. Okay. Got it. Oh, look at them. Look at these guys. There's more rows. There's another. There's yep. another row. So get less time to do it all. In. Warp 
level is brutal. Gotta find a good tactic for it. What? What happened? Did I shoot his shot? I don't think you quite got him. But my bullet stopped on him, so I must have shot his shot. Oof. Good job. They started moving down fast. You this is gonna be brutal. Be more the yes. immune, base on it, not you, base on oh. it. Gotta shoot those blue ships first. <gasps> they get you so fast. What? Yeah, just make me appear right in the line. <laughs> right in the line of fire. Yeah, that's that is challenge. Definitely. Oh, saw a screen flip. Uh, for challenge, be sure to use the select, then joist, then the joystick to choose both Astro Battles, then Galaxian at Space Colonel. What's up? Oh, Choose you... both Astro Battles. At Space Colonel. But you're at Space Cadet, so. Oh, I see. I'm guessing. Space General? Yes, the dive bombers shoot now. Yeah. I should go to Space General. Kittens! No, don't wreck all the papers. Y'all. So oh. this is the highest level. Space General? Space General. Whoa! Um, Space Colonel. Uh, well this is the four star. The Space Colonel's three star, so I would think this is the hardest oh. one. You will be more the oh my god! Oh my god. There's like no, there's like no... No, there's... No barrier. No barrier. There's tons of rows. Five? Six rows? <gasps> oh, there's a barrier. It just doesn't work. Some of the barrier, because some of them are too low already. Oh, I gotta get the edges. I'm going to have to actively select some of these levels to see them, because I probably won't make it past the second level. Oh, definitely. <laughs> second level's hard. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, there's no room. There's no room to react. Oh my god! I like the explosion. Can I start at the same? I don't think I can try the same dude again. No. Let's see the next level. <laughs> oh, three groups of them. Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Yes. I can I have to stay well out of the way. Like very out of the way. I have to treat this like a high level of Galaga. Oh for sure. Like get in, shoot, get out. Dive bombers are brutal. Oh, oh thank goodness. Ooh. This is brutal. Hi. Converting cats right oh, now. Oh, one more. Come on. Oh, I passed it. I have no lives oh. left. Oh boy. This is not going to be easy. Oh my god, look at them Four. all. Four. Mm. Oh, the bullets. Oh. Okay. Didn't see much of that, so we're going to go back to this. You oh, died almost instantly. Oof. Oh, it's like the Galaga's coming down in formation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe this isn't too bad. Not as bad as the last one. They all shoot, though. They like, the do. static ones are shooting, too. But Not just when they're falling. But I guess they did that before. I cleared an area now, so yeah. I've got a bit of a... Bit of, oh, maybe not. Hi. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, these cats are very cuddly right now. Oh, they are. They're, they're so very cuddly. happy for their, their bells. Their bells <laughs> and their treats, yeah? There we go. Oh my god. I kind of have to lure them and then run away from them. Like say, okay, start here attacking me, and then run away. 
Nostalgic 26. Eight enemies on the same line. Information plus dive bombing oh, enemies oh, oh, passing oh. through them. This is amazing. It is unbelievable. Oh, see, so you can't shoot the bolt. Yeah. Yeah, the amount of stuff going on on the screen is astounding. Wow. Oh, I did it. Oh my god, with no lives left. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you called it. Instant death. Instant death. Uh, at that level, Gorfer's gonna live long. Yeah, okay, yeah. space war. Apparently, it sucks you into the middle. Oh, it does. You have to keep pulling back. Oh, look at it. Ah! Ah! It's got gravity. Oh my god. That's hard. Pretty much need to concentrate on the on the planets or whatever they are coming down at me and avoid them. As if it's a bullet hell yeah. shooter. Instant dead mode, yeah. Oh, yeah. Instant I want to try that dead. one more before we go to the flagship on the high level. Psst. Bad cat's going yeah. it. It's got the space, uh, the star field. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting it. Accidentally. It's got the star field and then another moving star field. Nice. So the graphics are astounding. Oh, they're amazing. It really throws you for a loop, too, I find. <gasps> Does the game taunt you if you score zero points? It should. <laughs> it should be a special, uh, special message for somebody. Oh! <laughs> okay. Now we're wow. gonna try the last level. Flagship almost. Oh, there's enemies! Oh my god! Oh, oh it went too crazy. Too much stuff going on. Too much stuff going on. Oh, and there's those things too! Oh my god. They probably reappear. Don't, oh no, he's god. shooting. He's shooting the. Big fireballs or whatever they are. Here, some space here so I can shoot them. No! Almost. I wonder how many times you have to get them. Oh, you have to shoot that little hole or make the hole bigger. See that little hole that goes to his core? In, the, in his uh, hull? Yeah. That's what you have to get. Almost. Oh, what? No! It reforms. It does. Oh, you got oh. it. So you shoot pieces of the ship off, and you can shoot the pieces off after you've shot them off, too. For more points. No, 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 no. At least those other things haven't come back. Yes. The boss but. of all bosses, yeah. Oh. I really want to defeat this guy. Oh, now it's open now. At least he doesn't heal up. Yes! Oh, damn it. Did you get him? I. I got close to it. God damn it. Damn it. Do it another time. I think you yeah. can do it. You cannot escape not more the end or not. Nice. Get rid of those guys early. Oh yeah. Hopefully they don't come back. Uh, I'm up to it. Bad move, Space General. Oh yeah, it was. It was a very silly move. Oh, oh, oh. oh stupidity! Oh. Stupidity. Ugh. Oh. 
Do it again. Do it again. The end on her and other galaxy next time. Try on the easier one with your. But it say try it on an easier level next time. Yeah. You cannot escape the more the end or not. Another enemy is the end. Oh my god. I think I got lucky last time. Um, Nathan says the shield regenerates every six times the flagship mm. goes across the stream, screen, so... Oof, so close. Oh, that was it. really close. You just have to hit it once, or you have to break through, right? Uh, you can. I believe you can hit it the first time if you get it exactly the right spot. Oh, oh. Getting there. I almost laughed before I died. <laughs> you knew I was going to die. You knew you were dying. He's like, oh, it's inevitable now. Oh. Nice. <gasps> so close. Oh, Ooh, so very close. Very close. He's open now. Oh, got him. Oh, so oh got close. him again. <laughs> you cannot escape the more the end or not. Next time, push a player not in. You really want to defeat that. <laughs> I'm so or close. The attack, attack. Nice. Mm -hmm. Love you, save Way too high. Yeah, just get back a bit. This can give you a lot of time to. Oh, I was on the edge of the screen. Cornered, I couldn't yeah. get further over. Ah! Yeah, every tower it is impressive. Very, very impressive. I love the sparkling shield here. Page yeah. reset, says, says Vitoko. <gasps> yes! Yay! Got it right! Right. Reset. Threaded that needle perfectly. I did. So you can't. Space warrior. Space warrior. <laughs> Look, five stars. Oh, god. oh my god, that's so low. Oh, they're already shooting. Funny. I have, like, I have no lives left. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna die because they shoot so <laughs> Yeah. So Quick. Low. Okay, yeah. now I'm gonna play a proper game. <laughs> from the beginning? Uh, you should play first. Well, no, I, you play. I'm gonna get a drink, so I'll be right back. You okay? Yeah. All right. Wink Arcade. <laughs> okay, what should I play on? I guess I should play Advanced because that's the arcade version. You will need a party and you'll face a net. See if I can make it fully through this style or this uh, challenge level. Space warp's gonna be tough, but practiced on the really hard level, so. I'm Let's see if I can do it. I am the Morphian from Deathless. Let's clean up all these little guys. Right. Oh, are you start starting on novice or no, is no, this no. advanced? This is uh, advanced. Like, advanced, so like the arcade, the arcade level. level. That's really the one you should be playing on if you're yeah. half decent yeah. at it. I'm not. 
I'm struggling on novice, so. Okay, okay. Cats. Crazy cats. What? Oh my goodness. Full of beans. Cat they know it's a Friday. Trouble. They're like, woo, Friday! I love, and I don't know, I don't know enough about Gorf, the arcade version, but I do love the stripy rainbow colors of the, um, <laughs> of the Galagos that are fallen. Yes. Or Galaxians. 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 Ban ABC. It's pretty close to the original. I got the rare classic Gorf CD for the Jaguar that 3D Stooges made before it got shut down by the developer. Mm, oh. Interesting. I don't like those big balls of fire. Oh no. Very, very challenging. Yeah, wrong way. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Don't run into me. Oh, come on. They're so pretty. I love all the colors. They're really They're nice. so nice. It's probably one of the most detailed uh, enemies I've ever yes, seen. Yes, they're beautiful. Especially when they get really big. Oh my god. That guy's just a chunker. <gasps> oh, I did it! Uh. Speaking of, will this be getting an eventual name change similar to how the Galaga game was renamed to Galgon? I don't know, you'd probably have to check with John and see. Yeah. Some he changes, some he doesn't. Yeah, I guess it depends on uh, what he's worried about uh, in, <sighs> on the legal side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that went through. Oh, I swear that you, you hit that it in the right spot. It also depends on the speed of the enemy. That's true, how they're moving. Because... Oh, Nathan says this will be Gorf Arcade. Nice, so it'll keep its awesome. name. Yay, I did it! I'm the advanced Play one level through. <laughs> space, space Captain. Space Captain. Two stars. Woot! <laughs> Just for fun, anyway. Mentioning the Jag version getting shut down is what made me think of it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So speedy. Speedy nice. McSpearson. Love the screen clearing. And if you notice, your ship fades away. Oh, yes. Lots of tiny little nice details that you just you take for granted you, but, and you don't notice, but it all adds up to the, the experience of the game. I really enjoy the Gorf Raspberry. <laughs> Which is what it reminds me of, like a raspberry with a face. Kind of an elongated yes. raspberry. It's if you've ever had the long looking. ones, they're very cute. Nathan Strum, that was a drama we're not involved with. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically the best of greatest hits game. I didn't realize the original was like this. Yeah. It is like a best of. Yeah, it's like best of old school. Mm -hmm. Classic space shooters, and it's really, really good. And uh, Nathan says uh, John is amazing at capturing the subtle details, and I, th I agree with that. He all is. his kind of reproductions and ports have always been really top -notch. amazing, top -notch amazing in controls, sound, um, graphics, everything teams he has are the best of the best. Yeah. Remember in the 2600 version you can time your shots? You... God damn it, no! When do I get more lives? You cannot escape the more the end or not. Capturing? Reproducing! Yeah. Not bad, space captain, but you still cannot defeat the more the end contestness. Oh, I 
beat my own score. <laughs> okay, your turn. My turn. Make it through a whole Yay, thing on novice. simple. Make it, you can do it. Shoot that big ship. We'll see, we'll see. And I'll make sure that we look through everything. Oh yeah, I was gonna check out all the phrases that um, the arcade says. Don't know what the six new ones are, unless I know what all the arcade ones are. Okay, in the attract mode, it says, insert coin, I am the Gorfian Empire, long live Gorf. So we heard all those. Uh, ready to play mode, long live Gorf, repeats that one. Push a player button, I did you heard that one. Uh, mission startup. Prepare yourself in for annihilation, Rank. You will meet a Gorfian doom. Survival is impossible. You cannot escape the Gorfian robots. <laughs> I am the Gorfian. <laughs> That's, That's that one. one. Robot warriors, seek and destroy the Rank. I am a Gorfian consciousness. Gorfian robots, attack, attack! Uh, my Gorfian robots are unbeatable. Gorfian, take no prisoners. Johnny the Whiskers says, Gorf is kind of like Space Invaders, isn't it? But I, but I love the sound effects. Yeah, the first level is like Space Invaders, where it's going slowly, slowly down. And, and this is Galaxians. It is. Like straight up is basically. Galaxians. Um, the last one is, I've never played it in the arcade. But Phoenix, right? Phoenix is the game that has the ship that goes back and forth and you destroy the ship. I only played the 2600 version of it. Uh, player loses a ship. Got you, rank. Bad move, rank. Some galactic defender you are, rank. An en another enemy ship destroyed. Your end draws near, Rank. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Player loses a ship. Too bad, Rank. Bite the dust, Rank. <laughs> at game over, it has Gorfians conquer another galaxy. We heard that at the end of the last game. Uh, you cannot escape the Gorfian robots. Cornering oh, yourself. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to shoot it. Oh, come on. Having such a hard time just hitting that one. Call hail the Supreme Gorfian Empire. Try again, I devour coins. My tactic was just to avoid those at all costs, and everything else is kind of I'm moving too far subconscious. Forward. Yeah. Oof, I almost hit you. Oh, I know. Oh my god. I, the last time I played it. Like two in a row. And when Sometimes the... it feels like. Okay, it's gonna come down. Don't be at the bottom. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. No, he eventually goes off screen. There we go. Uh, when the player destroys the flagship, there's four sayings. Nice shot. You've promo been promoted to new rank. For hitting my flagship, you've been promoted to new rank. In the Gorfian Chronicles, you've been go promoted to new rank. Next time will be harder, but for now, you've been promoted to new rank. Oh, those are so slow in comparison. My god. Nice. Yay, you did it! I don't have any lives though, which is annoying. Patoko says, this is the 2600. Yes, it is. Yeah, Johnny the Wizk has said, is this the Atari 7800? Yeah, John Champo, uh, Champ Games makes the 2600 look like the 7800. Put that on a box. <laughs> no! No! Mm, nice shot. Very close. Have you ever noticed that Gorf is frog spelled backwards? Um... The game's creator, Jay Fenton, designed a sequel to Gorf called Miss, Ms. Gorf, but it was never released. That would 
be very weird. Miss Gorf? How does that even work? I guess just rename it, make it a new game. Uh, let's see. Tips and tricks. Oh. oh God. Astro battles. Fire immediately when the mission starts and may get lucky and hit the Gorfian robot, distributing the space invaders. I mean, that's that's a thing you can do. It doesn't really help. His you. Uh, Ooh, shield. So close. His shield doesn't seem to come back. Oh, the big he's one? gone back and forth at least six oh, times. So yeah, in, just in novice, the, it doesn't look like the shield comes yeah, back. Just on the higher levels. Oh, so close. Well, this is the best version, I believe, but where's that voice? The game has voice. Yeah, it's the second port is hooked up to um, the Atari Vox, which also keeps the score as well. <gasps> no. Nope, you don't need to go back there. You can come up here. Come on. There's a good kitty. I feel like I'm getting so close. Yes, the same thing here when you play Wizard of War. Exactly. So close. He's fully I'm like exposed. getting through him and not hitting his brain. Come on, man. Oh. oh it went right through. <laughs> went right through it on an angle. It went right through. It is hard. It is because it's hard. a very precise... Sometimes you it get lucky. requires such a precise hit. Nice. Yeah, fine. I gotta get to watch Ew. this explosion with all the colors. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's dissolving. Oh, it's dissolving bit by bit. All the little pieces. Yep. Very nice. Promoted to space cadet. Yay, space cadet. I only have one life. Oh. Yeah. Kitties? Oh, yes. There was comb lines on the bottom. Comb Very lines? unusual to see that. Because I guess he wanted to use the whole screen. Um, right when it showed the title of the level. Right. Some comb lines. Because most... Um, a lot of new games erase the comb lines by putting a full uh, line of black down the left. Like, making sure there's an H move every line. <laughs> but I'm guessing just the width of it made more sense to go full width of it. And the whisk says, I want the Atari box! You do, it's an awesome add-on. Oh, come on! Oh, you got an extra I got one, an extra life at the beginning. I don't know if that was because of... Uh... Oh, getting through the round. Yeah, or... or ah, my score hit a certain... Nice. That's what you want to do. Ah, I'm hitting. I'm just like <laughs> smack, smack, smack. No, oh, I would have gotten him. Prepare yourself for annihilation, space planet. So the only, let's see, the only v home version besides this one. That includes Galaxian's mission is on the Commodore Amiga. That's it. In the EU. It was only released on the Commodore Amiga in the EU. Wow. It's the only one. Only one game. Oh, kind of flashed a number there for a second. Uh, I thought it. Oh, oh. God, I read right into that. Uh, I thought it flashed a yellow one. Um, the score for a second. Not, not the score, but the yellow uh, Galaxian. That was much better. Though. Excellent. I still didn't beat the nice other one. Game of chess? <laughs> That's a new one. How That's about a nice cute. game of chess? <laughs> Careful that laptop. Excellent, excellent version of Gorf. It just destroys. So good and worthy of the title, Gorf Arcade. Yes. Um, I've never played in the arcade, but this is this plays so so smoothly and so well, and looks awesome. <laughs> looks so so good. It looks amazing. Guessing. 
John is still watching uh, Stranger Things. So. Oh, yeah, he would be okay. finishing up in about half an half hour. Half an hour, eh? <laughs> or so, depending how quickly he started it. War Games Nod. Yes, mm-hmm. War Games Nod. How about a nice game of chess, Professor Falcon? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go back. Beautiful, beautiful game. And you can Gorgeous. download that game, uh, the demo version, right now in the Atari Age forum. So if you want to play that, uh, there's some limitations, but uh, definitely download it. You can play everything. You can't play the ad- higher levels. I think it's just novice and the, the first two. Oh, bad cat. <laughs> yes, great job, Nathan. The graphics are astounding. Thanks. We had a lot of fun developing this, especially putting in the challenge mode in recent mm. weeks. Great job. So that's a recent Nathan. addition. Yeah. yeah. Very good. So let's see what's coming up on the show. Well, we have a lot of games to play coming up. Yeah, a lot. A lot of, a lot of classic games. A lot of classic games. So if Monday is good for you, we're probably going to do it Monday. Because you don't have anything yeah, going on. I think on. Monday's fine. So Monday on Monday, plans. we're going to be doing an After Dark. We're going to start? The first one. What is the first one? Can you check No, in? he's... He, oh, okay. He came out? Yeah. Uh, we're going to start doing the Atari 2645th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown, 1977 to 1979. What is the first game? Combat. The pack-in game. Oh, the first game that nice. anybody plays is nice. the one that... Combat. comes with it yeah Excellent. the other one are just uh, i'll try and find dates as i go along if you have like them yeah 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 months but early early on like it's it's kind of up in the air when these released were released mm. um i don't know if we'll be doing a tuesday show we may not be doing a tuesday show mm. um summer months are very slow for development some people keep going through them yeah. Obviously, John Champo never yeah. never rests. Never rests. Never <laughs> sleeps. That man. Yeah. Yep. Neither uh, does uh, Money Funster. Okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> we'll probably skip Tuesday and be back on Friday with Darcy. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll fit in some more after dark. So if we oh, can. we will. We're gonna have to squish it's gonna be in about as many two as we week. can. Are you gonna do one with Darcy too at the end of your show or? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how prepared I am mm. and how quickly I can get it done. Mm. We'll probably do one on the weekend each weekend. Okay, that sounds um, because good. Because that's very flexible. It is. And we flexible. can do it in the during the day. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. 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 Um. Let's see. And we have Jalaga coming up on the Jaguar. Jalaga. Jalaga. Nice. Exclusive world premiere of that. Exclusive world premiere of Elevator Agent okay. from Champ Games. Oh, okay. Uh. Also, a secret homebrew later in the year. Uh, looking forward to a Load Runner 2600, which will be released at PRGE as well. There's a lot of games coming out of PRGE. Mm-hmm. Uh, will the After Darks that aren't on Tuesday and Friday also be late starts? It's going to be a mix, mostly late starts. It'll be yeah. late starts during if the it's, week. If it's during the week, it usually is. But if we do it on the weekend, we can do it in the middle of the day. So. Uh-huh. Um, it just kind of it's it's all dependent on our own schedules and where we can squish They're squish time. I'm gonna in. try and schedule them as much as much as possible. Yes. I think it's good if people know ahead of time mm-hmm. so they can yeah. they can, you know, plan to watch if they are around. So Um but yeah. if not, they will always be on YouTube as per usual. Yes. Yeah. Uh we have a Uno Plus Cart special with a live interview with some developers nice. from the Uno and Plus Cart coming up. Mm-hmm. That's probably gonna be one of the first oh my god he just jumped for the door handle that cat is (laughs) i don't know if you saw my face (laughs) or james's face when he jumped up it was like what 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 did he just jumped for the door handle (laughs) they're the ones that pull down so maybe he's gonna start opening doors now we had we had a cat named rogue yeah who's not on the show no no she she Uh, passed away before the show but uh could open doors you know with those so we used to lock her out of our bedroom and in the middle in. of the night, she would just, you would just hear wham, wham, and she'd be <laughs> jumping up and trying to pull the door handle open. Naughty, naughty. She was too smart. Anyway. Uh, uh, live interview with Hold Style. Nice. Uh, doing, when we have the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one or two games, exclusive world premieres of those. Awesome games. Uh, developer spotlights on Todd Fermansky, plus Harper, Harpy's Curse exclusive world premiere. 
and a developer spotlight on Chris Walton. Hopefully we can combine that with uh, maybe the final version of Xevious. That would be really, really cool. Mm. Um, yeah, and a whole bunch of other things. So I have planned Vectrex Day, a Commodore 64 day. Um, I can't wait for either of those. Both of those sound wonderful. So yeah, because what we could do yeah is do the Commodore 64 homebrew. Okay. And then finish it off with an after dark of you playing Impossible Mission. Impossible Mission. Oh, that'd be so. Would that work? Yeah, that would work. That would do a work double, really well. Double header of that. Yeah. Just for an off, because what. Once in a while, like very seldom, we would do an, uh, a platform outside of Atari. Yeah. It's, it's all Atari well, here. Yeah. Um, we've done Intellivision and a Coleco. Yeah. Uh, homebrew Day. But other than that, no. It's all Atari. So once in a while, we, we yeah. plan to do a Vectrex and a, and a Commodore 64 one. Because I do have a bunch of Commodore 64 homebrew and, a, and Vectrex homebrew. Mm. So that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, a bunch of other stuff. And was, ZPH favorites as well. And yes. I want yeah. to do those. Because we've done a couple of those. It's like, oh, what's my favorite? My yeah, favorite platformers. My favorite shooters. Yeah. You know, Xevious, 1942. All VHZC games. Yeah. Galagon, Draconian, Juno First, Space Game, Miss Galactopus, Space Pac-Man. Mm. I've actually filled those out recently. Mm. Um, let's see. What's the one that I like? Was Rogue named after the video game or the X-Men character? X-Men character. Yes, Rogue's a very fun video game, though, as well. It's the yeah, uh, but it was she, she was named after the X Men character because yeah, so. she had stripes. She little, was little great. Stripes. She was gray and white. She had some stripes. Some white on her. Yeah, yeah. some white. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very fluffy. Very, very fluffy. fluffy very sweet. Thank you, Rendered yeah. Ghost and Charles Whelan, yeah. uh, for um, yeah tuning in and saying it was a great show. It was a lot of fun playing these games. Uh, thank you for sticking with us and watching Ivory Tower Collections, yes. Charles Whelan, Nostalgic 26, Rented Ghost, Vitoko, Johnny the Wiz Kid, uh, S. Ramirez, Nathan Strum. Thank you again for making an awesome Gorf Arcade. Oh, amazing, yeah. Um, Chalcedoni Mao, Chalcedoni Meow, uh, Mike Soul. Hey, Mike. Hey. Dan AVC, Kev Kelly. So many names pop up throughout the show. Yeah. S. Ramirez, I think I said that. Yeah. Phaser Cat Phaser Games, Cats. Cafe Man 2D. Um, Packlander, Muddy Funster, thanks again for uh, letting us premiere you two games tonight. The updates to them. Uh, Spiceware. Who else? Packlander. Who? Got Packlander. Uh, B.R. Pocock Yay! just got in at the top there. <laughs> nice. And everybody else who tuned in and didn't say yes. anything. Yeah. Play Porky on the 2600. We will. We will. We'll, we'll get to it. We'll be playing them all, so. We'll be playing absolutely every <laughs> single released Atari 2600 game. Are we going to play five minutes and give a review of each as we go through? Uh, very quick rapid fire review okay. as we load the next game okay that sounds i like, like that that was fun good graphics yeah fun gameplay that was terrible i will never play that again blah 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 and i <laughs> and i and i they're going crazy i know they are and they're fighting that with their... these games are very very old so i don't mind saying some Talking slightly some, negative some, things yeah. about them yeah fair enough but i don't like saying negative things on the show because anybody I... who makes a game it's such a huge accomplishment oh yeah that you want to encourage the game making. Oh no, no. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I understand. But I but these yes. are old games. They've even been around the a long time. Even the mystique ones. Yeah. yeah, nobody's feelings are gonna be hurt from forty years ago too much. No. They probably won't be watching Riv. <laughs> and and it's not usually it's not usually like that was the worst game I've ever played. It's more like this I don't like this. You know, like I don't like playing this kind of game yeah, or the mystique that. Mystique ones thing. are terrible, yeah. terrible. What's mystique? Oh, they're the adult games and they're really one, they're not great. Yeah, of course not. Because they're, they're adult? Is that what you, you no, said? No, they're, they're just adult? not great. Yeah, adult. Okay. Two, they're highly offensive, some of them. Well, I'm sure. Like, beyond offensive. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's yeah. about it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> Suggestion for basic programming. Write out your program ahead of time. Yeah, I'll probably get one off the internet so that we can just hammer it in. Mm. It's basic programming in the... Oh, it is. It's our first day. Is basic is programming. It, so we're going to do some basic programming? Very quick. If we can get a hammer out, because we saw 
at the at um, Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo, they had a computer set up with basic programming yeah. running on Atari 2600. Nice. Um, and it said like you There's... could only put in like hardly anything for no, a program there were like, like no characters hardly any lines and, of and code. there's no keyboard so you have to do you have to scroll through and pick prepare to be demonetized on youtube really really with the with the mystique stuff i don't know I doubt are it. we playing that i don't think we're playing the, the offensive games are we i don't particularly <laughs> want to we can show the the card i don't know anyway, yeah i don't, I don't want to play anything really offensive but no they're really bad i i know i i've heard i think of some of them before we can so just I think mention them are. and move on we can mention them and move people on. people can play it on their own time yeah exactly yeah they're really bad yeah like, I, I really bad some of them i know were i i think i know the themes of some of them yeah. so. uh it yeah. might happen <laughs> it might it might i mean it's pixelated but it might happen yeah uh what was I saying? Nothing. Uh, we're done for tonight. Mm. Um, thanks for hanging around. Thanks mm -hmm. for watching. Um, have a good weekend. We'll be back on Monday with After Dark. And we'll start playing some classic games. Nathan has a good suggestion. Turn off the video feed <gasps> so all we can see are your reactions. That's a great idea, <laughs> yeah. actually. Because <laughs> yes. we can still play them. Yeah. Nathan has, Nathan has figured Nathan's it out. Nathan's smart. He's figured out because the Because uh, we can, we can still include it, but not show it. Yeah. Smart thinking. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. Keypad, keypad controller. We're going to have all the controllers ready to go yeah. to play all these games. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back on Monday with After Dark. And then Friday again with a regular show with some more games. Mm. So we'll see you then. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.